Fontaine is finally out, and today we are playing through the Archon quest, and may I say, this is the single best Archon quest that Genshin Impact has put out to date. I think the elements of surprise and mystery kept me wondering the entire time what was going to happen. I didn't know who I could trust. I didn't know when I was safe or not, but I do know one thing. I'm always safe using Surfshark VPN. This video is sponsored by Surfshark. Appreciate letting me stay at your place, man. It's been a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, no problem. I'm just going to, like, watch some stuff here. Is that cool? All right, long travel day. Let's watch some anime. Hey, my favorite anime, The Office, isn't available here. You don't got that stand, huh? What? Don't you hate when you're in situations like this? This is why I got Surfshark VPN and you should too. And right now is a better time than ever because with my link, you get three months for free. This would be the best way to protect your data and keep your passwords from being breached, protect your email accounts, you can browse privately, all done very fast and securely. And again, you can watch The Office anywhere. Personally, I've been using Surfshark for over a year now, and they have so many great features like secure network protection, ability to watch your favorite shows on the go, and also keeping your identity safe from thieves like this guy. I am not a thief. Yes, you are a thief. So use this code on the screen right here to get three months for free. And also, when you buy Surfshark, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee as well. Get Surfshark today. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. This is the first time I've ever been here. Dude, wait, this looks good. This looks actually good. Add. Uh, I'm in love. It's good to be back. I'm pretty sure all hate them and Sino were like throwing hands. They were like fighting. Right. That was the most casual sentence in the world. I guess we may have stumbled upon this place at some point before. Good memory, Paimon. So nice little recap. The tech's going crazy out here. They got pots? Is that a Fontaine guy? I think we're getting merchants from around the world now. As long as we're around, it's hard to say what will happen. I know the Fatui's gonna pop in. Maybe it's all because of you. Well, Maybe you're just a magnet for trouble. Bitch, say it to my face. Oh, you did. I was just thinking that you might be the problem, Paimon. Me? Before Paimon ran into you, Paimon never ran into any trouble. At most, when she was super tired, Paimon got caught in some strange whirlpool and sucked out into sea. And even then, you fished Paimon out. When Paimon got tired, for what was she doing to make her tired? To our next destination for now. <laughs> next up, a whole new region. All right, let's continue our journey. You know, I feel like that line about Paimon falling asleep and going to like a whirlpool is interesting. I want to get more info on Paimon, this whole Archon quest, this this whole region at least. Next up, Fontaine. Ah, look who it is, running into yeah. you in a place like this. I can see you two still love wandering around. Wait, is she fixed yet? Oh, it's Dia. <laughs> Is our Fontaine guide? Just wandering around. We're usually taking care of some serious business. Even though it may have nothing to do with our journey. It's <laughs> true. Limited time quests be like. But never mind that. What brings you here? I just finished a commission in the desert for a usual client of mine. Nothing too interesting. Just escorting a shipment of goods. I'm on my way to report back. That's when I saw you two all the way over there. Chatting away. What were you two talking about anyway? How about we want to hug you, girl? You looking real pretty, by the way. Also, we're preparing to leave Sumeru and head to Fontaine. We're never coming back. So it's kiss me now or never. Don't huh? listen to me like that. You serious? Bro said. Fontaine. Can't say I saw that coming. Mm, but you are travelers after all. I guess you'd never stay for too long in one place. We've been here for like a year. <laughs> All you need to do to get to Fontaine is cross this stretch of desert and navigate some waterways. Easy. No, I'm sure it won't be anything you can't handle. I love that you guys are telling us this now after being here for a full year. Oh, wow, it's just over the, it's just over the hedge over there. Oh, it's easy. So, Real easy. Uh, when are you leaving? We'll leave as soon as we're finished with a few more preparations. We should just be spontaneous oh. with it. Oh god, oh god, he's gonna be French. Oh god, you know French people made me nervous. 
He's gonna say wee wee. I see. Guess you won't be needing a going away party or anything. It's sad enough to see you go like this. Though, now that I think about it, Sumeru wouldn't be what it is today without you. Seems true heroes always prefer leaving quietly. <laughs> and then. By the way, should we go say bye to Nahida? <laughs> should we go say goodbye to the one person who could like save the universe while we were here? Maybe. Oh, good point. Then there's no need to bother her in the real world. Wait, what? Where is she at right now? Wait, why, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was joking. Why are we not going to go say bye to Nahida? What is she doing right now? I guess this is goodbye for now, traveler. I totally don't know what she's doing. Whether as a client or a friend, you're always welcome to come find me. I love you. Goodbye. Goodbye, Dia. Bye-bye, Sumeru. Please buff Dia. That's the next thing I want. Buff Dia, please. After settling matters in Sumeru, you approach the border with Fontaine. With Fontaine or in Fontaine? Oh. TP. I ain't gonna say it. It's just right there. This whole time, bro. Can we just get to Sinesnai already? <laughs> it's just over a cliff. It looks beautiful, though. Okay. Music. Very wee wee. Very French. All right, we got a waypoint right here at the border. Let's see where it. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. That's a lot of land. It actually doesn't look that big yet, but I'm sure it's going to expand. Viewpoint. Breathtaking. Where were you? When I took my first picture in, in Fontaine, I was here in Virginia. Look at all the boats, bro. It's like Pirates of the Caribbean out of here. So it transitions right from the desert biome into this lush waterfall. Look at the edges. Wait, does this just like go off the edge into oblivion? Flat earthers, this is a great day for us. I mean, y'all, I don't believe that. I don't see any diving underwater yet. I don't know if I like this. I thought we were going to be under the sea. All right, here we, here we go. All right, guys, Fontaine, we're here. Is that a mousseline? It's a mousseline. I'm going to run over it. Hey, yo, mousseline, where I parked this? Y'all got valet? Me and Fontaine. Wee oui, wee. Oui. How do I get down there? I'm here. Oh, here we go. Whew. After crossing all that sand and water, we finally made it. Oh, this must be Fontaine's port. This is sick. Wow. Everything looks so advanced in Fontaine. <laughs> have clocks. I'm on heard that the industry here is extremely developed, and there are all kinds of unusual machines. Where did Paimon hear this from? Where does Paimon hear anything from? She just be saying stuff. She's like, I, I heard. So I heard. It's about what I imagine. It's even more impressive than I expected. I this thing's cool. Sights as a tourist is nice, but maybe it would be better if we found something to do. What do you think? Let's go eat some food. Let's start by meeting the Hydro Archon. Can we do that? Is that like the first thing we can do? I don't know. <laughs> the mezzanine in the background, bro. This place isn't real. This isn't real. Can we just walk in? Sometimes I forget we're on a journey to find our brother. We're still trying to find my missing sibling. Yeah, the more we can learn, the better. Beautiful music. So, what do you think the Hydro Archon's like? Will we get along? Hmm. Nahira said that she has a very unique personality. Whatever that means. I feel like she's going to be very sassy. Very, very sassy. I'm just hopeful there's not gonna be too much dialogue below. I would like to get to the point. That's one like request I have for this game, but it, it's a high, a high task to ask for. It's a tragedy how things ended for him. 
Clearly, he was a pretty decent person. Okay, that doesn't seem like a blow. That seems pretty, like, relevant. First person we talked to in this region says, Damn, that guy went out pretty bad, huh? Yeah, I didn't expect that kind of ending for him. I thought he would at least fight on a little longer for his family. What? I was expecting a sudden plot twist, but it's a pity that it never happened. Still, his story is quite the tearjerker. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. That poor guy. Uh, excuse me. Can I help you too? I How do you pronounce this? Uh, hi. <laughs> We're travelers new to Fontaine. And we had something we wanted to ask, but you seem to be really busy talking about some kind of play, so we didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> Is it a play or is it actually real though? I kind of feel like it's like a court hearing. A uh, play? Oh, no, no, no. We're talking about something that really happened. In fact, it's a case that was just heard a few days ago. A death penalty. Really? Like a real trial? But the way you were talking about it and the words you used just now made it sound like some kind of story. Like waiting for a plot twist? Well, good tells are often based on true stories, aren't they? And what you see in reality may also be someone deliberately putting on an act while harboring ulterior motives. Me when I lie? Whether something is true or not simply isn't that important. The main thing is whether the story being acted out on the stage is splendid enough. She's taking some real deep breaths. She's like... <sighs> oh, but it looks like you're not from around here. You probably don't know that the Fontaine Court of Justice is called the Opera Epicles. Epicles. More commonly known as just the Opera House. So they see trials as a sort of, a sort of opera. They like perform. Perform the crime sentencing. But, uh, shouldn't court cases be treated a little more seriously than that? Not to question Fontaine's way of doing things. It's not a it's good first thing to say. It's about to be us. <laughs> no worries. Other visitors to Fontaine have wondered the same thing. You could say that we just don't want to waste the moving stories behind those cases. What? So if I murder somebody, they're like going to have a whole, a whole show about it. That's actually kind of lit. Because if I kill somebody here, they're going to like retell it through opera. That's actually dope as hell. And as for your worries about whether the cases are treated with due reverence, we have the absolutely just and honorable Chief Justice Nouvellet. 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 She sounds like butter, bro. That's, that's tongue butter right there. You got a little tongue butter for you? Nouvellet. As well as the oratrice mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, <laughs> a machine created by the Archon. Between the machine and oh, Chief what? Justice, false charges and injustice are a thing of the past now. <laughs> the what, bro? Oh, man, I thought Sumeru pronunciations were going to be the worst. Oh, this is going to be so hard for my silly little English brain. A judgment device created by the Archon. So this is the Nation of Justice. Is it some kind of I'm going to call it the Oratrees. You know what we should do when we meet God? Oh, that's easy. Just go to the opera house. Lady Farina practically lives there. You could definitely say it's her biggest passion. Okay. I think what they mean is that they wish to speak with the Archon personally. Can you just do that? I think you, you know, I already kind of see where it's going. We can't get a, a standing with the Archon, so we need to make a reason to be in front of her. We create a fake crime to get on trial just to talk to her. In that case, I'm afraid it's going to be a tad more difficult. You'll have to make an appointment well in advance, and it'll depend on whether or not she has any time slots available. Is this the doctor? Huh. Is the Hydro Archon super busy taking care of She seems lazy, that? though. Wait, didn't you say that she's always at the Opera House? That's what I'm saying. She's just enjoying plays. What is she doing for the nation? No, no. Lady Farina seldom takes an interest with the nation's affairs. The reason it's difficult to make an appointment is simply because she's incredibly popular. That's right. After all, she is the Archon. Though she may tend to get a little dramatic from time to time, people can't get enough of her. That's y'all with me. Oh my god, this is just like us. Huh. 
first time Paimon's ever heard of an Archon being described that way before. <gasps> Wait! Paimon gets now! The Hydro Archon is kind of like a big celebrity here, right? Me after streamer camp, oh my god. Yeah, I suppose you could say that. <laughs> Perhaps you could even say our mascot. That's how you see God? Hang on. This is still Fontaine's Archon you're talking about. You should show some more respect. Yeah, you can go on trial next, buddy. Yes, you're right. I guess I should at least try to be a little more respectful in front of visitors. Otherwise, I might get arrested. <laughs> face to face with Monsieur Nouvellet. That's crazy that if you talk shit about the Archon, you might get arrested. That's crazy. <laughs> Come on. Sure, there's a lot of laws here. But nobody's going to be arrested for saying something disrespectful about the Hydro Archon. Right? Seems like the people of Fontaine really like the Archon, but they don't appear to revere her. Actually, she meant that. She's like, no way, because she don't care. All right, I think we get it. Thank you. At least we now know that we can. This is a cool setup. At the Opera House. But I hope it's not too short of a quest. An appointment will take. Oh, guess we could have a look around the city in the meantime. Hey. What are you looking over there for? My brother for the last four years? There's a girl over there. She's been standing alone for quite some time. Huh. Maybe <laughs> something's the matter. <gasps> she isn't going to jump into the water, is she? Lynette? Lynette? Uh, maybe we better go check on her. Uh, ma'am, you're not about to jump and drown yourself, right? Ma'am? Prelude of Blanque in Norisier. First try. First try. Insta got it. Uh, Lynette? What you think about? Oh my god, she's so short. She's so tiny in comparison to me. <clears throat> uh oh. Uh, hello there. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you alright? Not about to jump, are you? Huh? Hey. Ah, uh, I'm fine. Thanks. Okay. Oh, okay then. We just noticed that you seem to be worried about something. About many things, actually. But there's nothing I can do but just keep my troubles to myself. Oh, um... Alright. I was just reminiscing about a place my brother and I would play when we were kids. It was just atop that hill over there. This one? See? There's a lot of hills. Uh, you're pointing at the sea. <laughs> Wait, are you saying that you and your brother lived in the water? Transition into under the sea moment. Maybe they're mermaids. <laughs> or a fantastical race from Fontaine. When people call the waters around Fontaine a sea. It's actually just an inland lake that's filled with fresh water. <sighs> and though I can still see that hill clearly just a in my lake. memories. Now it's been completely submerged. People Why? Jump, and jump, tossing sand in the wind. The sun shone brightly, and the air was filled with the scent of the sea. Got a great voice, actress. But now, the water is gradually swallowing our memories. Like, I'm actually sad now. Like, my vibes were up here when I started, and now they're down here. It won't be long before it swallows us. What? Oh, it's gonna keep rising. It's like global warming. Is that what that is? No. Get what you mean. Ah, I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. Lene! new friends? Why are you so, so smug? Oh, and you are? Thanks for looking after my sister. She often comes here to reminisce about our childhood, that's all. There's no need for any concern. Hey man, she looked like she was about to dive in, you sure? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Linny, and this Linny. is my sister, Lynette. If I had to guess, I'd say you must be travelers from abroad. I mean, they seem kind of friendly. She seems sad, but he seems like relatively friendly. Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is a traveler. We just arrived in Fontaine. We were just talking with your sister. Uh, even though we didn't really get what she was saying. She was talking about living under the water. Is she okay? Hmm, I see. It's unusual for Lynette to be so willing to talk with anyone. In fact, she seldom speaks at all. I'm usually the only one she ever talks to. 
I had a really big theory about her being this way. I'm glad I'm already right. Like, the personality is matching up to my suspicions. Oh, really? Reserved, quiet. Paimon's always the one talking for some reason. Oh, yeah, I don't know either, man. Trying to turn you down. You never stop. That's hardly anything left for me to say with you around Paimon. That's funny, because you literally don't say anything at all. Is it because Paimon's stealing the lies? Does Paimon steal our voice? Is Paimon a villain? Maybe this is really deep. Let's let's theory craft here. <laughs> so that's how you think it is? Hey, you stole my thunder. I also think my brother can be too talkative at times. Well, that's just well, that's just mean. Uh, Why are you a cat, by the way? Seems you were right, Paimon. We are quite similar. Lenny is the Paimon of this group. <laughs> when she said that the water is engulfing your memories and that it won't be long before it engulfs you too oh god oh that it's from a prophecy that's been circulating in fontaine for some time now well i suppose prophecy isn't exactly the right word because that implies a certain amount of uncertainty there's no doubt about what's happening in fontaine now the water's rising, your memories are leaving, and there's a lot of crime that is opera? This is already great. I love this place. To begin. Oh, dear God. Hmm. He's about to start spitting. Let's put that question on hold for a moment. No. We still haven't formally greeted each other yet, have we? We want me to curse you, bro? Tell me the story. Uh, did all the introductions earlier not count? What I'm saying. Hello, traveler. Hey, what's up? Firm handshake. You got soft hands, brother. It's a pleasure to meet you, though. What's he doing? And hello, Paimon. <laughs> He's just very, very touchy, very friendly. Hey! Why did Paimon get a handshake? Yeah, why are you smack her butt? You're not poking fun at Paimon, are you? You smack Paimon's butt, bro. <laughs> he said. Please don't take offense. Just consider it a sort of etiquette we have here in Fontaine when making new friends. You should remember it. It might prove useful. This bitch just put something on me. He just put something in me. Oh, you think you're sly with it. Sleight of hand, Andy. Magic card pulling cat out your ass, Andy. Oh, you think you're slick. Oh, all right then. To Paimon you are. Well Oh man, you don't know. She's so innocent. By the way, we were just getting ready to go to the opera house to meet the Hydro Archon. But Did where would he put something? Cause like, he she's got no pockets, right? Huh. So you're going to see Lady Farina? No problem at all. In fact, I was planning to go to the opera house later myself. I'll gladly take you once I finish things here. He set us up so bad. Please follow me. But why? Why plan something on a newcomer? What do you gain? Unless you're already working with the Fatui, which they definitely are. They're being controlled. We saw that from like the little teaser we got. So, hey, slow down. Sorry, I got stressed out. So, guys, uh, how about them baguettes? Am I right? Did they improve the jiggle physics? Oh, my God. They changed the jiggle physics. I feel like they did. Uh, you said you were going to see Lady Farina? Well, it seems Lady Farina has come to see you. What does that mean? Oh. Sasag. Yeah! Sorry. Dear God, those buttons fighting for the lives. There she is. Shut, dude, go back, go back. I love the Archon, but like, damn. Huh, so she's the Hydro Archon? But how did she know we were looking for her? She just pulled up. My dear people, rich and poor, those with cup in hand and those with nothing at all. Raise your glasses in celebration. Cheers. Then just raise your hand and leave. Everybody raise a hand and cheer for this very sassy official sounding god. Whoa! Yeah, baby. I love the Archon. As you can all see, two Dang. familiar travelers have arrived in our nation. Come, let us 
must make a toast in honor of this traveler and her companion who have journeyed here from distant lands. I love the music and I also love the eyes. Oh, she has two different eyes, man. I haven't seen any details about her. I'm so unspoiled and it's so good. She talking about us? This music's good. No one here seems to be holding a glass. So everybody's hands in the air. I've long heard of the turmoil Look at her! You left in your wake as you visited other nations. But I welcome you nevertheless. No. Chaos? I have come to receive you personally. I've saved nations. Hold on. Turmoil and chaos. Fear is for insignificant cowards. I am a god, and I will never entertain the notion of such meaningless wariness. You can be rest assured. I see clearly your sincerity. Right. So, like, why are you approaching us all like this, though? Of course. Seeking an audience with me is the most sensible thing to do. It will allow you to truly behold my power and witness my authority. <laughs> she like saying it with her chest. <laughs> always gather under the <laughs> correct banner. Oh my God! Fear me. I, Fosalor, hereby welcome you to the nation of Hydro and acknowledge the value and significance of your trip. Now. You may rejoice in this. She's saying her full legal name, man. That's her government name right there. <laughs> Introducing herself as Fosalor. Like, this whole hook is way better than any region so far for me. Because, like, we take a minute to find Archons. Other than, like, Vendi. I feel like the other Archons we had to kind of, like, go around a little bit. Take some time. Get to know the area. She pulled up. She said, hold up. I hop out. I show that I'm God. I show my presence. This is my territory. That was easy. Yeah, Paimon still can't believe it. Feels like we've only been here. I love this. I'm God, Giga Chad. The Hydro Icon entrance was, uh, how should Paimon describe it? A little over the top. It's a very good hook. Uh, this Hydro Icon? How did you know we were coming? I see. As outlanders, you inevitably lack even some Very of the theatrical. most basic understanding. Don't forget that even the gods can be divided into the mediocre and the excellent. Pro. I suppose it's only natural for you to be awestruck by my abilities. Kind of weird. You have Her personality. To and consider. Do you really have the noble qualities and etiquette necessary to communicate with a god? All it takes is a flick of my finger for me to know everything about you. Really? Talk about sounding high and mighty. She can't get over herself. We needed a humbler, bro. She's standing so high up top there. Come down here. Let's see how tall you are. Let's see your actual height, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, she real sassy and pouty. She a brat. Oh. With these looks, perhaps the welcoming ceremony still isn't enough. Hmm. What else should I say then? Hello, I don't know. Like, how was your trip? I don't know. Like, you hungry? Uh, is she waiting for us to start talking? <laughs> Lumine's in danger then, because she don't ever say anything. Wow, I didn't expect to see Lady Farina here. What a surprise! I forget the name of her guard that looks like Caitlyn from Arcane. Show me her again. Does this mean they're the legendary blonde traveler? <laughs> they're. Before? They're a package. Hey, what's all the commotion? Oh, is that Lady Farina? Is there some kind of drama going I'd on? I love the name Fosalor, though. Of course. That's the blonde traveler. The one all those stories are about. Lady Farina. Kind of famous. Personally see her. Oh, I bet this is going to be the duel of the century. Hold up. Take it back a minute. Duel? Duel? Oh, I've got to see this. Fight? I knew Lady Farina would never disappoint. <laughs> oh, shit. Yes, but don't get too excited now. My dear believers and spectators alike tend to get quite rowdy. And despite the noise, I've come to tolerate all their ruckus. She come to slap us and run. You may consider this my reward to all of you. 
I have determined that there will be an epic duel between myself <laughs> and this traveler from another land. Just as you were hoping to see. <laughs> Bro, I just got here. Let me check into my hotel. Let me unlock some waypoints a little bit. We're already throwing hands with the Hydro God. Uh, oh, this is insane. Oh, Jesus. Damn, Lumin said, bring it on, bitch. Fighting gods, I got a resume. Oh my god. Writing, good. Writing, actually good, Genshin. Oh my god, they're learning. They're learning how good Honkai's story's been, like the development, how fast it is. Resume. Damn! Don't tell me I gotta fight them first, right? This ain't a tour guy. Might I remind you that this is a duel against the divine? Don't care. Who asked? Who? Who asked? What are you trying to do, traveler? Provoking a god in front of her people? <laughs> I'm so sorry, ma'am. <clears throat> Stand down, Clorend. Clorend. Bravery. Few have the courage to draw their sword against a god. She is obviously a true warrior. Is this Clorin's voice reveal? Or has this been released before? I love Clorin's voice. <laughs> Unfortunately, people nowadays only crave to be thrilled. And a mere duel will not slake their thirst for excitement. Huh. Yeah, she's right. She's so extra. Duel wouldn't be all that interesting. <laughs> what do y'all want, man? Or you want us to fight to the death? On Araneus... Criminals are always requesting duels to defend their honor. They're getting a bit old to tell the truth. These people are constantly entertained. This is the TikTok of Genshin. This is like the TikTok brain. They can't even stay focused. They always need more. She's kind of manipulating the audience. God of justice, I shall face this traveler in another kind of duel. A duel in court. Is that fair? Can you just do it? I guess you can. You are God. Oh, uh, I really wanted to fight. Charge out of Lumine. Bitch slapper. Right. This is Fontaine, after all. Such a grand opera house. It would be a pity not to use it. Yeah, you guys tax paying out here, living your great lives. You got it good out here. You don't even know what it's like in other regions. We need Yonfei. <laughs> we need a lawyer. Besides, how exactly do you plan to have a duel in court? Are you going to put us on trial? Who else can we call, man? We gotta assemble the, the God Squad for the legal team. We haven't committed any crimes. We literally just walked up here. <laughs> Maybe we're like trespassing. Oh, we have reason to put you on trial. It's obvious, isn't it? Don't talk to me like that. According to Fontaine Law, no one is permitted to release any flying objects within Fontaine City limits during the first three days of each month. You are clearly what? guilty of violating this law, no? Number one, we didn't do that. Number two, that is all these Paimon's flying. Oh my god, Paimon's fucking flying. Oh my god. Oh, so that's what they've done wrong. <laughs> That's our lady Farina. No one knows the laws of Fontaine like oh she does. He acts like it's common law. Oh my god, they did that? It's like tax evasion. You call that oh. What kind of law is that? You should have known. <laughs> you mean Paimon? <laughs> it's just how she lives. Now, if you two have no she can only fly. Then, in the name of the Hydro Archon, I order your arrest i guess we gotta run my apologies lady farina i don't mean to spoil the fun but if you would allow me to interject what does he gotta say i don't think that paimon here meets the definition of a flying object defending us you tell her Winnie. <laughs> someone who's not crazy how could anyone call paimon a flying object ah great wait Linny, my beloved citizen I'll permit you to object, but how exactly do you plan to prove your claim? How do I prove I'm not an object? <laughs> As a magician who just rained on your parade, I naturally should shoulder the responsibility of saving the show. 
So, with such an audience gathered here, allow me to perform a trick for everyone. Uh, what? Like a bomb goes off. Maybe a smoke bomb, he's gonna help us run. What? This is what he planted on us earlier, by the way. Wait, that was on the back. She did plant something. What? Is this a leash? Is this cuffs? We called it the second he touched us. I knew he planted something. It's a leash. Bro, I wonder if anybody missed that and they're like freaking out right now. I clearly saw the tap. Like that was not a normal greeting. <laughs> Paimon a leash kid for real. As you can all clearly see, Paimon should be classified as, well, something like a balloon. This rope has been in the traveler's hand all along. Oh it my no god. She's a flying object now. <laughs> You call that magic? <laughs> You've got to be joking. <laughs> Shut your bitch mouth, Rena. Nobody asked you. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> nice one. Huh. I'm not sure what to think. Uh, it seems Lady Farina's charges no longer hold water. Wait. She's a flying object now, though. I guess... Oh, it said no flying objects can be released. So technically, flying objects are allowed as long as they're on a leash. I thought Lenny's setting us up here. Instead, Lenny's actually helping because it's not released. As long as Paimon doesn't get let go, she's a balloon. This is a different way than I even was thinking it was going. Oh, what do you say to that, God? He's helping us. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> she was a drone. Now she's a balloon. With you here, today's performance can finally be called complete. Performance? You see all this at the He planned that. What was that? In which case, oh. consider the matter of your trial resolved. The god of justice will not bring charges against an innocent person. She's gonna look for every way to incriminate us possible. Oh my god. But when there are valid grounds, I will not only judge travelers from abroad, but even the gods of other lands. <laughs> what? Implying like fighting with them? I'm gonna say it. I think the Raiden Shogun claps her ass. No question about it. I look forward to seeing your upcoming performance at the Opera House. Mr. Linny and Miss Lynette. That's enough for now. Toodaloo. Man, wow. We've had every like spectrum of God under the sky. Like the reserved kind, the one actually trying to help with Venti, like the retired uh, Archon with Strong Lee, the really, really kind and helpful, loving God with Nahida. This is a, such a stark contrast. Loving it so far. Yep, agreed. But, man, I think the best part was Chloridine, right? Is that her name? Chlorine? Chlorine? Chlorine. Just like that. <laughs> She's gone. Well, Chlorine. Chlorine. It's going to take me a minute. Thanks for bailing us out. He, like, knew that was going to happen, too. Don't mention it. I just happened yeah, to she's chlorine. there was such a law, so I did a little preparation just in case. So it's okay? I didn't think it would actually come in handy. It's okay to do it after the fourth of the month? So, now do you see what kind of god Lady Farina is? Yeah, I'll bitch. She can be a bit confusing at times, but she is still amenable to reason. Confusing is a good way to put it. Is she really that reasonable? I don't think she's really that deep either. None of the Archons, other than A, seems to be that deep. Like, why are they doing what they're doing? She might just be that way. Anyway, Paimon had no idea you were a magician. Lady. A had a good reason. It sounded like you'll be performing at the Opera House, right? <laughs> I just know a few simple tricks I use to make a living. Lynette is my assistant. Bro is so humble. It will actually be my first time performing on the most prestigious stage in Fontaine. The Opera House. 
the actual one. True. When there are no public trials being held, the Opera House hosts a variety of other performances. To the people of Fontaine, the line between a trial and a performance can be a little blurred. Mm. And speaking of performances, I would be remiss to forego this opportunity gifted by fate. Might I invite the two of you to see my performance? Front row seats. He's treating us. My brother is always excited to make new friends. I like really like him actually. Oh, sure. We don't really have anything to do now. <laughs> and we wanted to go to the opera house anyway. Yeah, we had nothing to do. We're gonna be here for like a year. Splendid. In that case, why don't we go together? I'll show you the way. I just have something to take care of first. Is there any way I can help? Oh, you really mean it? Then I'll take you up on your offer. Oh god, I don't know if we should be doing too much already after this all is that. A magical item known as a magic pocket. Classic. Perhaps you can help me distribute them to the people here. That doesn't sound like legal, like like, like legal activity. Magic pocket. Huh? What are they going to use it for? Magic dummy. About that. Hmm. You asked me before about the prophecy, right? Let me start by telling you a little more about what it entails. I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy has been circulating around Fontaine. Okay. It Cut says that every person in Fontaine is born with sin. No matter how the nation of justice holds trial after trial, this sin cannot be absolved. Sin. Until one day, the water levels in Fontaine will rise and the sinful people will slowly be drowned. This is like Moses, man. Or is that Noah? Oh, this is like Noah, man. <laughs> I forget the stories. In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. Is this not something that Ferna could stop, though? This feels like something she might be able to help, but she's like, give it, she's like, prophecy's prophecy. She has this big tear, too. This is a bad word, Paimon. Some say that the ancestors of Fontaine stole the power of the seas and stirred its wrath. But we're contained only in fresh water, by the way. This is this is just a lake drowning us. Others say that the people of Fontaine never heeded the first Hydro Archon's warnings and offended Celestia. But here uh -huh. in Fontaine, evidence is what matters. There hasn't been concrete evidence for any of these claims, so they can only be regarded as conjecture. Conjecture is a fun word. If even the people in Fontaine don't know what sin they committed, wouldn't it be better just to ignore the prophecy completely? Why bother feeling guilty all the time? That's exactly what the people did at first. But in the last keeps few years, rising the water levels in Fontaine have actually started rising but now the water's engulfing our memories it won't be long before it engulfs us hmm. memories now memories the have already been completely submerged and now lie beneath the sea many people carry on with their lives as before and shrug it off as a natural phenomenon and now but my family and I think that the people of Fontaine shouldn't ignore the possibility which would end up sentencing them to death he says that so casually. We hope that at least the people who reside near the water so can move away them to death. It's too late. So we've started distributing magic pockets to them. Oh, this will help. As a magical item, these magic pockets have astonishing capacity. I'm sure they will come in handy when people are moving their belongings. Does that mean I could put my stuff in it too? But a lot of rain. If the prophecy is true, then there's no way to prevent the disaster. Hmm. Perhaps only absolute power could ever contend with such a catastrophe. <laughs> I can but see the cutscene now. We're just oh my god. Specs in the grand scheme of things. I can see the cutscene of Farina actually like changing her mind and pushing the waters back like she's freaking Moses. Now, if you'd like to help, I also know where this is going. Get these magic pockets to anyone with Lenny. Nearby. Be sure to convince them to take it, regardless of what they say. I feel like Lenny's gonna be the one to turn to the Fatui because 
they're gonna promise them a way out like the Fatui are so smart and easy like easily manipulate people they will be the saviors of everything here if they trust them right but they're just after the gnosis the gnosis like water disappearing distribute the magic pockets to nearby residents we just give it to them in their pockets without telling them that sounds pretty easy no hello sir here's a mystical bag of drugs so you're the blonde traveler that everyone's been talking about my apologies for not recognizing you earlier take this bag oh, sir a magic pocket seems you really thought of everything yeah this is mine not well, Lenny's it's better to prepare for the worst and hope for the best so he didn't have any pushback against this thanks oh, please also thank the magician on my behalf when you get the chance he was very accepting I feel like now I should be playing with the Traveler. I want to see the Hydro uh, Traveler version. So currently she's still Dendro, but once I get, where is the statue, bro? That's all the way up there. All right, fine. I'll get it in a minute. Oh man, these name pronunciations are going to be tough. What's this? Uh, so you also believe in the prophecy. Oh God. <laughs> Keep it. I won't have any use for it. He's so K Kona. He's like, back in my day, we used to not even believe in water. Ain't no way we're gonna die to it. What? You mean you don't believe in the prophecy? Hell no, brother. No, no, I believe in the prophecy. Oh. But I also believe in another story. That you'll be saved. The story says that people once lived in the ocean. They were one with the ocean and couldn't live apart from it. So he thinks we're gonna become mermaids. But as time wore on. People desired to live on land and developed blood vessels, encapsulating the sea within their bodies. Thus, could people set foot on land. Evolution moment. So, if you ask me, when the water rises and takes <laughs> us all, it'll be like going Just take it, man. Oh, we hadn't heard that one before. They'll die. If people can't live underwater, they'll die. <laughs> you should probably still take Just it. Just in case. Just in case, man. Just have it. Uh, all right, I'll take it. More pushback. I guess I just feel that being dissolved into the water doesn't necessarily mean death. And that literally does mean that, my man. That literally means you will die. Go try it right now. You can be one with the water right now. Let's see how that works. Huh? I don't want that thing. The way I see it, if the <sighs> prophecy's true, it's still gonna be a long time before the water can cover everything. Nobody knows. Life is all about living in the moment. Should be like, I'll be dead before Why it happens. There and worrying about the future all the time. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. You should still take you it. You never know. You never know when it'll come in handy. Oh, all right, fine. But thanks. It's just that if I start moving, that means I've already given up on the life I have now. I'd really rather not. Why don't I just have a backup, man? It's not that deep, bro. Jeez. Everybody's so deep around these parts. Everybody's so extra. Talk to Lenny. All right, Lenny, I got it. Oh, you already handed out all of the magic pockets? Hmm. That was fast. So, what did people have to say? I bet you heard some uh, interesting opinions. Yeah, people don't believe in, in Ragnarok. Yes, but that will change once disaster strikes. I know they've changed their minds, so it's only right to help them prepare. <laughs> this jump in the bags last minute. Liddy was right. Is there anything else you need to do before we leave? Yes, one last thing. I have the magic pockets made by a workshop in the court of Fontaine. Since we're out and about, I was thinking about bringing him some more materials. Finally, we can go to the city. So, you want to collect materials? Just tell us what the materials look like and we'll help. Many hands make light work. We do so many errands for these nations, man. It's oh, crazy. That would be much appreciated. We'll need some Romaritime flowers. I remember seeing the waterfront on the east side of the harbor. I wish there were some really thick French accents. There's none. <gasps> Whoa. Hermosa. Dang, girl. What's up with you in your yellow dress? Looking all shy like that. Dog, pet? No. We still can't pet animals. What's the point anymore? Why are we playing this game? The first waypoint statue unlocked in all of Fontaine. The world opens up itself before those with noble hearts. 
do do Ooh. Balu region. Dang, we got a lot of exploration to do. Okay, here we go. Swimming. First time ever, baby. Let's see how it feels. Here we go. Resonate with Hydro. I do feel more wet. I'm not gonna lie. It does feel more wet. All right, her E button. Oh, oh. <laughs> what is this water gun, bro? One small leap for Dakaja. One big leap for mankind. Here we go. Oh, this is a big jump. Oh my God. Wait, am I gonna make it? Yeah. Yeah. Nothing happened. Ah, uh, technically we're not in. Oh, I see the color, color differences. This is the border, so you can't do it outside. I see. It's all the special water. Whee! Let's see if it works. Oh, left control button to dive. Oh. We're under the sea. Oh, we can attack. Nice. The music's so peaceful down here. Come here, fishies, I'm one of you. Family. Wait, what do the fish say, guys? What's that one they do in SpongeBob? Dashing feels pretty good. There is a dash limit. What happens when we max it out? Let's see, let's see. Let's max out my dash. Okay, so you just run out of dash, that's it. That's pretty cool. Bro, look. Woo! Clean. So you can only do long attacks or like charge attacks, right? Oh no, you can do single attacks like this. I feel really bad for killing these guys though. They don't hurt me. 07 for our first crab killed. There you go. You made quick work of that. I can tell you're an experienced traveler. I've also finished collecting a few here. Maybe next time you'll feel like helping too, Lynette. All right, bro. He's like having like that passive aggressive tone. No way. I'm in power saving mode today. Aww. Otherwise, I fear I may not have any energy left for the performance at the opera house. She just like me for real. Social battery run out. I feel that so much. <sighs> Fine. Though the performance is still a long way off. Now that we're finished here, we should get ready to head back to the Court of Fontaine. So, we're going to the Court of Fontaine before we head to the Opera House? Good. Paimon wants a tour of Fontaine's largest Don't city say it. Try... Don't say oh. oh. Oh, they just... Oh. They just left. Wait, shh. Have you noticed that person over there? The young girl. Yeah, she's kind of fine. What about it? Huh? What's wrong with her? I didn't notice anything. Wait! No, that's not who we saw in Sumeru. <laughs> she's obviously a thief. Oh. Magicians and thieves practice similar methods. We divert attention and a distracted audience is one that won't discover what you're really doing. Watch her movements carefully. That is the least subtle pickpocketing I've ever seen in my life. She's like, nobody saw it, right? Oh, he's right. She put our whole hand in that man's pocket. Shh, keep your voice down. We need to think of a way to catch her, but it seems she's very alert. Perhaps we should split up. I guarantee she can't outrun us. I you guarantee it. lift over there and wait up top. I bet that'll be her escape route if she tries to run. Understood. Leave it to me. All right, let's go. See you soon, buddy. Good luck. I swear to God, if this is another way for us to be incriminated, I'm gonna lose my mind. Here she is. This is the spot where Lenny wanted us to wait. There she is. She's looking at she's checking her corners. Oh, look! Isn't that her? Get ready to stop her. Time to make an arrest. Can we do that? We're not citizens here. We can't even citizen arrest. No, Paimon. The law will catch her on her own. Uh, you're right. She might also be trying to lure us away. You wait, but there's no sign of, of the thief. Nothing's happened for a while now. 
Lenny. wonders if Lenny got the thief. Seems there's no reason for us to stay here. Let's go find Lenny. Yeah, let's go. Surely he's got her, right? <laughs> what is he wobbling about? There he is. Are you sure that's all she took? You should check to make sure you're not missing anything else. Bro had his whole wallet stolen. No, that was all. He got oh, it. I can't thank you enough. I didn't notice a thing earlier. Anyway, I should be going now. Thanks again. Lecture. Oh, Lecture. Were you returning with the thief had stolen? That's right. Pity I wasn't able to catch her. He's a big justice guy. She distracted me by dropping the thing she stole on the ground. By the time I looked back, she was already gone. I saw the general direction she went, but Lenny twisted his ankle. And I needed to make sure he was okay. She cares a lot about her her brother. Oh, did you get hurt, Lenny? How did he twist his ankle? He seems so light on his feet, like so nimble. I'll be all right. It's just a twisted ankle, that's all. In fact, it's feeling better already. Will that affect the performance tonight, by chance? If you want to play at being a hero, at least try not to get hurt doing it. Imagine what would happen if you managed to derail our performance as a result. That is not the first thought you should have when somebody gets hurt. <laughs> you're right. But you're true. Right. You're right. Sorry, Lynette. <sighs> I have to admit that the thief was even more skilled than I had anticipated. But at least we were able to get the stolen items back, so it wasn't a complete failure. What a slippery little thief. Guess things turned out all right in the end, though. Lenny's initiative paid off. That's gonna really affect the performance later. It's gonna come back All to bite right. him. Let's put this little detour behind us. Yeah. We should go to the court of Fontaine now. Let's go to the opera too. Let's see the city. There's a boat I'm supposed to take. I'm pretty sure. If I get on this boat, I travel far. We see all the sights. Right? We get on the boat now, yeah. We had like a waterway system in every region. That'd be so this nice. Is an aqua bus. It allows aqua bus. To travel between several key locations around Fontaine. It's pretty convenient, but the ride can become a little dull after a while. The scenery is always the same. That's why it's better to travel with friends. So you mean it's still boring even when I'm riding? Damn. She said, "Say it how it is. Say you hate me." Uh, no, that's not what I meant. His little like it's arms. Just that, uh, well, you don't really talk that much. Yeah, you kind of are like very mute. Besides, it doesn't really feel like a real trip when it's just the two of us. <laughs> it's the same as being at home. <laughs> I love this guy now. Mm. Whatever. She's I'm like he's growing on me more. She's growing on me less. But I like them both. I don't know. Guess that's what it's like to be an older brother. <laughs> it's about time for us to leave. Let's get on board. He's got this strong sense of justice. Hope we get a cool cutscene here. Oh. Oh. Oh! <gasps> Charlotte! She's back to report the news on the Aqua Bus. Is she just not gonna say hello? Charlotte? What? What are the odds, sister? She was the first character we saw from Fontaine. Oh, I never guessed I'd bump into while riding the aqua bus. In the story of my life, this is big news. I feel like the camera wasn't black before. I feel like it was brown, but maybe I'm losing my mind. What are you doing in Fontaine? I had like a fedora before. About you paying us a visit? Yeah, it's quite the coincidence. But as travelers, we're always on the move. It's not surprising that nobody knew we were coming. Uh. Though, we still have no idea how the Hydro Archon knew about us. Oh, well, that time I'll introduce you to our new friend! You hear this music in the background? Just listen to it, bro. It's like gondola music. Oh, no need for introductions, Paimon. I would recognize the great magician Linny and his assistant Lynette anywhere. Big fan. I wouldn't be much of a reporter if I didn't know who they were. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird. Nice to meet you. Jay, Jonah Jameson. From Steambird, huh? We've often relied on your paper to promote our performances. It's an honor to meet you. They're so kind here. <sighs> now that everyone knows each other, 
Other than the Force of Lore. doesn't feel like such an unfamiliar place. So, what have you been up to lately, Charlotte? Any big news? I uh, hope she writes a big uh piece on the Fatui to Not expose them. When there isn't any breaking news, I mainly cover the trials at the Opera House. Local you can news. Still manage to keep readers' attention as long as you tell things from a clever enough angle, even if it's the same old topics. Me when I fluff up all my papers. For example, reporting on how a scammer once deceived vulnerable girls into relationships, or how a financial criminal was once so poor that they ate a single piece of bread for five days. That would definitely get my attention, but that's not really the kind of news you're after. That's a that's a lot of time to eat a single piece of bread. Oh, you're right. Seems you know me pretty well. What I'm really after is exclusive, sensational. But do we? Shake the country. But do we? stories are a waste of my talents. Talk about how the uh, fuss lore is an asshole. That'd be a pretty good one. Oh, I just remembered. I've been following a case lately. Well, a series of cases actually. Uh huh. You mean the serial disappearances of young women case? That's happening. That's right. These stories are the talk of the town right now, and it's probably the most mysterious case we've ever seen. Y'all aren't worried as young women, by chance? If I'm the first with a draft ready to publish when the case is finally cracked, and it's the headline story in the steam Stay <laughs> worried. Oh, when that happens, I bet all the other reporters will shed tears of envy. Damn. I've already gathered all kinds of materials. I just can't wait for the truth to be revealed. Definitely gonna have Fatui all over this. So Disappearances of young women case. You mean the culprit hasn't been found? That's right. The first missing girl case happened almost 20 years ago. Huh? And ever since, after a period of time, another girl disappears. What the cases have in common is that the girls are all of a similar age and that they've all vanished without a trace. I thought it was like a recent thing. But the scariest part is that to this day, none of the girls have ever been found. Many suspects have been arrested over the years in connection Bro. with this case, but shortly after each arrest, another disappearance would always happen. I can't take how serious of a topic this is with this beautiful music in the background. This like amazing scenery. We're just riding. She's like, yeah, some women keep going missing. Like, a lot. There must be some more than one criminal at work. Maybe they're cap copy of criminals. This kind of like takes my Fatui idea out of it. Yes. Because that's a long time. But either way, I believe that every case has some. I mean, they've been around for a minute, so never mind. To be exposed. Yes, I agree. And at the very least, the family of those missing girls deserves some sort of explanation. Yeah, true. I just imagined for a second Let's what see. I would do if Lynette were to suddenly disappear. I'd pay any price Aww. to get her back, and then find a way to track down the culprit. That's a good guy. Please don't imagine that, Lenny. Right. I, dude, I feel like sacrificing would make sense, right? Sacrificial stuff would be like an easy theme to call. Hey, we're almost there. Look! The city. It's the last city of Atlantis. Whoa. Am I just doing backflips now? Wicked. So pretty. Uh, ooh. So much wet. This is a great intro cinematic into the city to show you like the gardening, the landscape, the water. It's like little slides. Yeah, great architecture. I want to see the underground, though. The sewers. Well, I really enjoyed chatting with you. Life should be full of pleasant little surprises like this. That was a really small world moment. Yeah, us as well. The ride went by too quickly. Oh, I have an interview to get to. I should get going before I'm late. Okay. Can't wait to see her again. Bye, Bye Charlotte. Now. Oh, be sure to stop by and see me at the Steambird when you have time. Is that like gonna be a big building or like a small little like a rink and ink building? Like a small little side office. I mean, it's a pretty a big paper. Job. Always running around and interviewing everyone. <sighs> well, where should we go now? 
Pretty sure we're still going to the court, right? If you don't mind, how about we stop by oh. my home first? Besides, I still have all the materials we collected. Sure, we wouldn't mind at all. It's a lot you to like explore a little bit now. Oh, dude, how big will it be? Show me the city. Whoa. Okay, so that thing's going to have some significance. You know it. You know that thing's going to have some significance. Like, it's going to explode and, like, freeze all the water or something. Like, it's not just a centerpiece. We are finally here, chat. After so long of wait, quest complete. Oh my God, my heart sank. I thought that was all there was to the quest for a second. I was about to throw a hissy fit. Oh, <gasps> the other sibling, Firmament, Firmament, this Fur. This is our current abode. Fertile, I don't remember. Ah, Fremine. Fremine, I was close. Where did everyone else go? I have some new friends that I would like to introduce. Oh, they all just went out a moment ago. He sounds so sad. I see. Everyone is getting busier now that father will be returning soon. I suppose that can't be helped. What do you mean, father? <laughs> what? Allow me to introduce you to my little brother, Fremine. He Fremine. He's a phenomenal diver. Uh, hello. Nice to meet you. Hi, man. If I hear that one more time. You sound very proud to have a diver as a brother, Linny. What a talented family. This is a very different profession than you guys. <laughs> oh, maybe like adopted? That would make sense. Uh, Linny, could you come here for a moment? Uh-oh. Hmm? What is it, Fremine? Do Fremine? you have something to tell me? He's a little shy. Aw. What if it's bad news? Dad's dead. Dad died. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I see. Is everything all right? Obviously not, Paimon. Oh, it's nothing. We were just discussing a little housework. Sorry for the interruption. Me when I lie? Oh, uh, before I forget, the Traveler and I collected more materials to make magic pockets. Were you able to get any, Fremine? Yes, I went diving and gathered lots of materials. I was about to give them to you. Bro, it sounds like he's a prisoner, no? That's our Fremine. Always quick with the underwater work. All right, I'll take these to the workshop. Can we see your workshop? City's ambiance is so nice. He's running for the rain! <laughs> it's raining! Weather change. Oh, this is where the water continues to go. Oh, you're right. But wasn't it clear and sunny just a moment ago? Hmm. Fontaine's weather sure is weird. <laughs> I'm afraid that's just how it is here. It often rains on days where there are trials being held in the opera house, but don't worry, it'll clear up soon enough. All right, who's going to say Fossil Lords makes that happen? Because she likes to be dramatic and extra. <sighs> There's a legend about the rain that I tend to believe. It's said that a dragon of water once resided in Fontaine, though we don't know where the dragon went. Oh God! Every time it weeps, the skies will cloud up and pour out rain. When I was a child, my mother told me that if I wanted to go outside and play, I should yell toward the sky at the top of my lungs. And summon a water dragon? Hydro dragon! Hydro dragon! Don't cry. Could that be the Hydro Dragon? Could the Hydro Dragon be the Elemental Dragon of Fontaine? Another one of the Elemental Dragons. We have dragons everywhere, bro. If it's an Elemental Dragon, then having the power to make it rain wouldn't be very unusual. This music's so good, dude. Beautiful. Hmm. <laughs> she gonna summon it. <laughs> Her loud ass. <laughs> Imagine it responded. Hmm? <laughs> Doesn't seem to be of any use. It is just a legend after all. Aware? Who's gonna tell him? You know, you might be a more popular magician if you understood the concept of romanticism. 
Or could at least play along. She says, stop being such a killjoy, man. <laughs> Rain's <Sorry>. harder. <laughs> because we've never met the Hydro Dragon. Perhaps it can't be comforted by the uh, words of strangers. After some time, the rain stops. Uh-oh. Hmm. I thought this would be a cutscene. Suspected. Oh, it's already getting late. Did we just stand out here in the rain all day? Was there something you needed to do, Lenny? Workshop. Yeah, some preparations for the show at the Opera House. I need to find a way to catch the last Aquabus of the day. On the day of the performance, just ride the Aquabus to the island of Erinaeus. I'll have Lynette meet you at the fountain in front of the Opera House. All right, man. Time for a big old performance, huh? Oh, uh... Oh. Are you leaving now? You sound very sad and scared. What is it, Fremenet? I'm in a hurry. Oh... I get it. He's so he's shy. He's delivering the materials for the magic pockets, is that it? Shy little guy. Perhaps we could trouble the traveler to help us take these materials to the Beaumont workshop and deliver them to the owner there? <sighs> of course, I'm doing everything again, man. I'm afraid that Fremenet can be quite introverted. And the boss there tends to be pretty talkative. <laughs> Fremenet has always been a little afraid of her. Who is her? Huh? Who is she? No trouble at all. Don't worry, we're on the case. Maybe Mary Poppins? Sorry for the inconvenience. I'm quite useless when it comes Damn. to tasks. Damn! I'll think of a way to make it up to you. Hey, buddy, you're doing good, man. Oh, no need, no need. This will be a walk in the park for us. Pro said I'm quite useless. Court of Fontaine, this is the court. <gasps> Oh my god! It's so much! Oh, is this it right here? Oh, it's lower. <gasps> You're telling me I was already there? I'm gonna actually lose my mind. I was already on the right floor. Whatever. Uh, hello? Is there anyone here? Uh-oh. Hello there. Estelle. Need customers? Looking to buy, or do you need something made? It's cute. Or perhaps you're just looking for a chat with me. Oh no, we're just here to deliver some materials. Here they are. They're for making... Uh, magic bags. What were they called again? Ah, these must be for magic pockets. I could tell right away. I've already made several orders worth now. Magic pockets. Do we need to pay? No, no need. They've already prepaid several batches worth. Nice. When they told me what they'd be like using it for, I even offered them a discount. But they insisted on paying this is the full good amount, mo motives. saying that I had a business to run. <laughs> it seems both their hearts and their pockets are made of gold. The rich, rich. Wow. So, <laughs> did Lenny actually load it? Pawan is instantly interested. Mm, I can't say for sure, but who knows? Maybe there's good money to be made being a magician in Fontaine. If you're good. Hey, is this machine what you use to make stuff here? It looks really advanced. Why use your hands when a machine can do the work? Amen, it's sister. It's waste not to use the latest technology. And wasting is a kind of crime. All the, like the forging blacksmiths in Font and all the other regions are losing their mind right now. But where does a big machine like that get its power from? Ah, uh, well... It's a little complicated. I'm not sure I can put it in layman's terms for you, but basically, everything we usually use here in the city is powered by indemnidium. Indemnidium? It's a type of energy that's produced from trials. You just made that word up. Huh? What? How can trials produce energy? Well, indemnidium. I'm not completely sure of all the details myself, but basically. When a trial is in session, the Oratrice Mécanique d'Analyse Cardinale harvests oh people's belief in justice <laughs> and converts it into energy to be used all around Fontaine. Those voice actors had a job. She casually just said it too. She was like, oh yeah. So My god. Hmm. Hyman heard that the Oratrice was created by Archon to make judgments. That's good. But Hyman still doesn't get it. Unreliable like people's beliefs be turned into a stable power source for these machines. The gods rely on belief to obtain power. That is true. Oh, yeah. So that means the Hydro Archon relies on the machine to take the energy created.
created by belief and turn it into power for all of Fontaine, right? So that's why trials are so important? Even though I've never heard anyone really put it that way before, it sounds like it makes sense. Besides in Domnidium, we have another type of energy called Pneumosia. Pneumosia. I was saying pneumonia earlier, and I apologize. Pneumosia. It isn't produced by the power of the Archon, but it is unstable by nature. Even now, it still cannot be widely used by civilians. Mm. <laughs> I thought I'd Whoa. find you hard at work, but here you are chatting the day away. <laughs> Since you're already talking, I'm sure you wouldn't mind a few words with me. Why? Well, I'm preemptively. We can get Kekonas in chat already. I already know what this guy's gonna be about. Y you again? Didn't I already uh -oh. that I have the more I owe to He's a country mob lord. Why are you hounding me now? Yeah, but how do we know that you won't go running off by the end of this month? I want 50% today. Wait, no? 70. Jesus, bro. Huh? You. 70? Seems business isn't so great for the workshop. How we can you just do that? We job and delivered the materials. Maybe now's a good time to leave? And just let this random woman get jumped? What the heck? Sounds like the usual case of someone owing somebody else money. We're just going to leave. That's crazy. Hey, hold on. Before you go around trying to mm. collect payments, why don't you settle your own debts first? Bro, jump scared me. What? <laughs> when did you get here? If Confrere of Cabriere wants to poach clients from Northland Bank, that's fine. But I'm afraid you still owe Bro. the bank a hefty sum of more. So why don't we work things out between us first before you get back to your little conversation? That was so out of nowhere. Uh, you're from uh, Northland Bank. Uh, but we said we'll pay everything we owe. Yeah, tonight. how's it feel, Why buddy? Me now? Why, how's it feel, dummy? Feels pretty bad, huh? Mr. World, why pulling up on you? I didn't think I'd run into you here in Fontaine. What are the chances? It's crazy. Small world, right? <laughs> it's nice to see you too. What are you doing here in Fontaine? You didn't want to stay in Stejnaya? We sure have seemed to run into a lot of friends today. Fontaine really is a curious place. He's Mr. Worldwide, though. He's a different kind of case. <laughs> Long story short, I've already been in Fontaine for some time now. And honestly, things have been pretty boring. Honestly, uh, your belly's showing. You should cover that little bad boy up. But it seems that fate brought our paths together today. Not only will I have some good friends here now, but ones who always seem to find trouble. You like that, don't you? He like me, so he want me so bad. Either way you look at it. It seems things are going to get a lot more he interesting He still has his now. vision. Pretty sure we'd want to avoid anything that you'd find interesting. <laughs> Besides, our here has gone pretty well so far. Right, Trevor? I think we've already weathered enough storms for now. I don't mind a little excitement every now and then. Do not irk him on. Mm, uh, you crazy. Hey, you. Northland Bank boy. Aren't you forgetting something? You taught me with some respect, old man. Put some respect on my name. Don't interrupt. Damn. How often I run into the traveler like this. Why don't you wait for me over there for a while? Says, shut up. Uh, you kidding? Aren't you the one looking for us? You really expect us to sit and twiddle our thumbs while you catch up with your friends? Damn straight. Listen to me, boy. If you want your Mora, fine. Why don't you come and take it? Uh-oh. Hey, I just said not to interrupt. Oh, by the way, Traveler, the last time I took Tonya and Tuser ice fishing, Tuser said... He's going to charge at him. Hey, that's way over the line. <laughs> All right, boys, let's see who has to pay up now. <laughs> Bro is so pressed. He's Can so you angry. Let me finish one sentence. Fine. Though the bank told me not to get rough with our clients. Uh oh. You're the ones who started it. This is an act of self defense. <laughs> you two will have to be my witnesses, okay? I am not going to help you with anything, but okay. Uh, I'm unsure this won't take long. Uh oh. He's going to make quick work out of these fools. Oh. Oh, oh, I get a trial then. Oh, word? I kind of forget how to play this guy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's been so long. This is pretty cool though. Reintroduce you to his kit. How he plays. Take this, you K Kona racists. We're gonna be nice to all of my French friends. Dummy. Now give me my money. Easy peasy. How are you so strong if you're just a stamper from Snezhnaya's Northland Bank? What do we? Don't tell me you're... Uh... Oh, now you notice. It's a little late, don't you think? Just make sure you understand that you don't mess with Northland Bank. Damn, right? he don't know. 
Oh man, that look. Huh? Hmm. Vision not responding. Did the power cut off? Now's my chance. The power cut. Oh! <laughs> With his bare knuckles, he still got him. That was weird. His hydro power cut. What has happened, bro? I'm not sure. It's as if I suddenly lost control of my hydro powers when I needed them. <laughs> Look at him run away. Is Strange. How could that happen? First time Paimon's ever heard of someone losing control of their vision. He's also dabbled in delusions, which I probably probably has something to do with that, yeah? Never mind. It doesn't matter. If I want to stay sharp, I shouldn't be relying too much on my vision anyway. Besides, I always have my delusion in case I need it. Probably not good. You probably shouldn't keep doing that. That's not good. Delusion just looks like a bad word to trust and use. <laughs> like, delusion's terrible. Well, terrible name. I guess it's because I've been in a bad mood lately. Oh. <laughs> huh? What kind of reason is that? Missing two star. Wait, what do you feel down about anything? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I still have a lot to learn about myself. Bro's got a lot of self growth to do. But recently, there seems to be some sort of restless power stirring inside of me. And I don't know why, but every now and then I feel like I'm in a terrible mood. It could be anything, really. Hmm. Maybe you losing control of your vision just now is connected with that power you're feeling inside. Right. Hmm. That is a possibility. Do you have any idea where this power came from? I can't remember if I ever mentioned it before, but when I was 14, I fell into some unknown abyss. Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Is this lore that we are just learning, or is, I feel like I I know this already, and During I shouldn't. That time I learned nearly all of my abilities. The one who took me under her wing and taught me was named Skirk. Skirk, Skirk. I don't know who that is. One time, I asked her why she was willing to take me on as an apprentice. From what I could make of her answer, it was because I had awakened it, and traces of it remained on me. She said that all my combat training would be useful in the future. It? But what is it? What? She never explained that. But my guess is that it's related to a dream I saw when I had just fallen into that abyss. Right. In my dream, I was in the deepest depths of the sea, and the boundless seabed was all around me. But in front of me appeared a whale that was so massive, I felt like I couldn't breathe. It's just a bunch of Genshin players. A whale? A huge whale that seemed to leap at us. Is that the one? His constellation is literally a whale. <laughs> That's just an abstract form of a whale that I create using my elemental powers. Yo, what's up, home? It takes that shape because the scene I dreamt of the whale has always been stuck in my mind. I'll never forget it. So you used the whale as inspiration for one of your moves? Interesting. Yeah. Seems a little twisted to Paimon. It's very possible that the power inside of you is connected to your incident in the abyss. <gasps> no. So why don't you just go ask your master? Maybe she knows the But answer. she's also lost. I swear to God, I've heard this name before. You make it sound so easy. Ever since the incident I experienced there, I've never stopped searching for Master Skirk. And Somebody else shares it. this master. Somebody else shares this master. But it's been years now, and I've still found nothing. There isn't even a trace of the place where I remember falling into the abyss. I can't wait to see this come to a climax. Oh, if you get the, like the truth. Story. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm out of leads at this point, but there's nothing more I can do. It seems that strange encounters in this world tend to be elusive like that. Mm. Oh, seems the time really flies when I'm talking with you. I just remembered I have somewhere else I need to be. Perhaps so uh, get going. Fatui meeting? Perhaps about overthrowing Fontaine? Perhaps, maybe? Wait, more work for the Northland Bank? Nope. And no, it's more of a personal appointment. Lately, I've been sparring with some of Fontaine's official champion duelists whenever I'm feeling bored. Oh, that's completely different, actually. Official champion duelists? It's completely mini games. You mean it's their job to duel? Yep. In Fontaine, before a criminal goes to court, 
They're given one chance to defend their honor by requesting a duel with an official champion duelist. Oh, we could just do that if we get in trouble. The champion duelists are all powerful fighters selected from among the nation's best. And the duel itself is a no-holds-barred <laughs> fight with no specified stopping point. The child will really just be running around the nations looking for a fight. That is so crazy. In such a that is insane. A symbol of defending your honor. <laughs> if a criminal manages to win the duel, they'll be acquitted. But if they lose, they'll have no choice but to stand trial. You guys know who's probably going to be there? You know who's going to be there? And the worst case Wait for it. Is that you're simply Wait. Killed in the duel. Damn. This just got real awkward. <laughs> Though it's rumored that Fontaine has a death penalty, from what I can tell, no one has ever been officially sentenced to death. Because they probably died before they got there. So really, the only people who opt to duel are those who have suffered a grave injustice in being accused, or those who greatly value their honor. True. Otherwise, True. why gamble with your life? So, do many people actually get out of their trials by winning the duel? Apparently, it's exceedingly rare for anyone to actually win. Fontaine probably enacted this system as a way to show that the nation respects the honor of its citizens. Besides, none of the champion duelists are to be trifled with, which is exactly why I was itching to face them as soon as I got to Bro Fontaine. just wants to throw hands everywhere. Apparently, the one I'm meeting today, Clorend, is the strongest of the champion duelists. I had been asking her for I some knew time it. before she finally agreed to face me today. Oh, thank God she's here. Well, that's child for you. Hmm. Clorinde. Well, it like we heard that name somewhere before. Clorinde. Hey, I remember fully. Oh, before I forget, I want you to have this. Imagine he gives us a delusion. Huh? What? Bro gets a gift bestowed upon him from the gods. I'm done with it. I'm just worried that it could become uncontrollable again. I'd be pretty upset if it got in the way of my duel. So I think I'll be better off. Okay, you're going to delusion your way through this. Besides, I just need you to hold on to it for a short while. I don't like this. I don't like it. Have some time later. Don't give me a free vision, bro. Hyman knows what you're up to. You just want an excuse. Used to come talk to us again, don't you? He do want us so bad, though. If you think about it, <laughs> the way he's acting. Gave you that idea. I'll be. Bye. <laughs> that sneaky guy. He said he's been feeling down lately, but he seemed the same as ever to Paimon. Yeah, but inside it might be different, Paimon. Okay, what if he was depressed? Well, since we don't have much to do for now, we might as well walk around oh. and see the city before Lenny's performance. Please don't tell me the quest ends. The quest doesn't end, right? The quest doesn't end, right? Under Pokemon's enthusiastic leadership, you walk around the city, the core of the Fontaine. Wow. Oh, okay, thank God. Who could have seen that coming? The reporter who was barely around for most of the story was the murderer all along. Oh, we just wrote a story. Oh my God. Don't blurt it out, Pokemon. You spoiled it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't read One Piece and like not spoil it. The murder mystery novels here are amazing. Never thought I'd see the day where Paimon would enjoy reading. Yeah, because she's stupid. We've been loitering for a while. The whodunits here in Fontaine are a lot different than the light novels you see from Yai Publishing. House. I like whodunits. They have their merits, but Paimon thinks this style of novels are more... Well, novel. Miko's way, the Miko Publishing House is way more like uh, cryptic and poetic. It's so exciting to reach the moment when the mystery is uncovered, especially in the one Paimon was just reading. You should buy a copy and read it too. <laughs> I'm good. You literally spoiled it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Paimon will be more careful next time. Bro's blabbing. Oh my god. Hey, shouldn't we be heading to the Opera House to see Linny's performance? Yes! It's almost time for the show to start, so we should get going. This is what I've been waiting for. This is the good stuff. All right, everybody, buckle in. We're getting on a bus. Here we are. Wait for the aqua bus. Oh, it's here. That was fast. Oh my God. Wee. The little Mussolini we see in the trailer, right? When does the, okay, ow. <laughs> that was so funny. Immediately. Dang. The boat will be departing imminently. 
Please do not stick your head, <laughs> hands, or other body Whee! parts outside the boat. I'm gonna do it. The operator I'm gonna do it. Responsible no! No! Or injuries Come on! Oh no, guys, I gotta catch up. I gotta catch up. Wait. No way. No, 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 no. Please, 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 please. I made a grave mistake. What are these birds doing here? <laughs> All right, we get ahead. We jump on. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, that was so stressful for no reason. Whoa. Now this is fancy. The opera Epicles. Epicles. Okay. Maybe Linny and Lynette were looking forward to it. Huh. Looks like there's a lot of people standing around the fountain up ahead. Oh, Archon. Good luck. I was going to say. Bless us with a bright and healthy child. We pray. Oh, who's going to tell him? I don't know why you always feel the need to ask so much. I'll be happy as long as our child is healthy and lives a peaceful life. He's like, please don't let him be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if there are kid, then there's no doubt they'll turn out smart. Okay, a little confident. Confident much? This is where they come for good luck from the Argana. There sure are a lot of couples here. Seems like an easy way to steal a lot of money out of a well for us. What? You can't do things like that. You can't like be talking about a wishing well and you just hear Vache out of the blue. She having those raven visions again. Vache. 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 What does that mean? Does that mean I love you? Did you just say something, Paimon? No, Paimon didn't say anything. Whose voice was that? Things? Yeah, again. Welcome to the Fountain of Lucene. Uh, no explanation. Going through Fontaine converges here. Classic Genshin. It's customary for newlyweds to come here and wish for children. You scared Paimon! I was so terrified. Mm, Lenny asked me to wait here for you, remember? I love her voice. Uh, She's like uh, uninterested. By the way, Lynette, I seem to hear a faint voice just now. What do you mean? Are you crazy? There are a lot of people here right now. It seems like it was coming from the fountain. Hey, you're not trying to scare Paimon, are you? Besides, it's the middle of the day. It's not the time for eerie things. Hmm, I see. I might be able to tell you something that could help explain the voice you heard. Uh-oh. In fact, you might not be imagining things at all. I suspect that what you heard is a result of your hypersensitivity to the hydro element. Others in my family have had similar experiences. What am I resonating with? It's because of her sensitivity to the hydro element? But what was I hearing? Well, what would hearing the voice have to do with elemental power? Vache. When do you cry, Paimon? Whoa, that was a little personal. Wait, what? <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? What are you asking for? Just answer me. When do you cry? Every day to sleep. I don't know. When Paimon's really sad. Oh, and when Paimon's super happy. Oh, and also when Paimon's <laughs> really, really scared. So a lot. Then you should understand that tears contain your most intense emotions. Like I just mentioned, the Fountain of Lucene, Lucene is where all the flowing water in Fontaine converges. Even the tears that fall to the ground will eventually gather here. Really? So maybe what you heard was the intense emotion coming from someone's tears. That doesn't sound possible, Lena. I like that poetic explanation, but that literally doesn't make sense. Okay, I'm not sure whether I buy it, though. So, what did the voice say? Calling out somebody's name, Vache. Rather than worrying about them, we should worry about my brother first. Uh-oh. Don't let that calm look of his fool you. He tends to get pretty nervous just before a performance. So chatting with Linny might help him relax a little before he goes on stage. Oh, he's like keeping it to himself. Oh, he's shy, right. nervous. That makes sense. Let's go in and see Linny. He puts on an act. A performance of confidence. I relate. Oh, I just killed a bird. I just killed a bird in front of this thing. Can I offer the bird to the fountain? Okay. That was an accident. Fountain of Lucene. What can I offer? Is 
Uh, that's a long cutscene. You can throw Hydro Sigils you obtain from Fontaine into the Fountain of Lucene outside the Opera to raise its level and obtain valuable rewards. So like the soccer tree and like other things. I gotcha. I see. I have zero so far. This is a pretty cool way of doing it though. We have not one time said the word brother. I feel like most times we don't until the end of the Archon quests. Like all of it. Like last time we didn't ask Nahida a single thing until the very end. We tend to do that. These dogs are so heckin' cute. Does he fight back? Fight back! Don't, hey, don't walk away from me! Because I think the dog is broken. Oh, here we go. What, in the family uh, opera? And Paimon. Good to see you. I knew you two would come. Are you kidding? We want to miss it for the world! We've been looking forward to it! I'm excited to see what this is gonna be like. <laughs> I can tell, judging by how early you've arrived. But you're actually right on time. The audience still hasn't started entering the venue yet, which means best now seats. is the perfect chance for us to take you to the best seats okay, in the house. Okay. Wait just a moment. I'll fetch the tickets. I'm a little nervous. We got a child on the scene somewhere for two wee lurking. I mean, full of going to go crazy. Who knows what's going to happen here today? Sorry, it just kind of came out of me. The Opera House has assigned seating, so you always have to make reservations. I've already reserved your seats, and here are your tickets. Thank you. Ooh, front row seats. Thanks, Lenny. Lenny the plug. Okay. There's no need to keep thanking me. Hey, Lenny. Could you come over here and take a look at this? Hell yeah, brother. Why everybody sounds so cake hona in this world? I'll be right there. Seems there's an issue with the stage props over there. Cowell. That's Cal, my assistant, calling me. I'll go lend him a hand. Best get busy. Yeah, we'll just go to our seats. You go ahead, Lenny. Surely nothing will go wrong. Surely this performance will go swimmingly. Whoa. <laughs> the music's so, so clean. It feels like an actual opera house. <gasps> Whoa. We're the first ones in here. Dang, the setup's kind of nice. I feel like there's not a lot of seats for, for many, many people to come at one time though. Like two per row and having this many stairs. Dang, front row. I do love how big this is though. It's cool that you can explore it too. This is like from the trailer. And I'm VIP, baby. I got bottle service, backstage access. I'm gonna explore the front seat real quick. Hold on. Okay, this is tipping scales, tipping balance. Seems to be a back rooms of some sort too. Is there a backstage? I can't look into there. There's somebody near my seat. Wait. Who is in my seat? Oh, guys, isn't that the judge? Oh my god, I'm sitting beside Nouvellette. Oh, hey. It's kind of weird. We're here first. Hello, sir. Don't, he want me so bad already, I can tell. This is awkward. This is a little awkward. Uh, <laughs> Somebody say something! Why are you being so awkward? Oh, traveler, maybe we should strike up a conversation with the person next to us. Since we're sitting together and the rest of the place is practically empty still. It's kind of awkward if we don't say anything. Just, just like put in your AirPods or something, bro. Act normal. You're up, Paimon. Do your thing. You little... <laughs> of course you put this on Paimon. Excuse uh, me. Hi. I did not realize you felt awkward. I am terribly sorry. <laughs> hi. I would be perfectly happy to chat with you if that is what you would like. Yeah, how you get so hot? So you heard all of that, 
Take care. <laughs> oh, you should sure have good ears. Paimon does keep keeping your voice down. Yeah, this... <laughs> Just keep trying there, buddy. Uh, wait, he's not rude, he's kind of nice. Sorry, um, Paimon's the one who was being rude, talking under her breath like that. Uh, so, let's talk, but, uh, what should we talk about? This is getting worse. Uh, oh, Paimon's got it. You're also here early <laughs> and sitting in the front. Are you a friend of Linny's too? Bro doesn't know he runs the place. A friend, you say? Well, if Mr. Linny would like to be my friend, I would be more than happy to reciprocate. Oh, he seems so really nice. Linny, then. Oh, this is getting more awkward by the second. <laughs> ah, uh, Nothing here. in Let's common. Um, I am a troublemaker who was almost arrested, and I come from another nation. And also, you don't know, you know where my brother's at. Oh my god. She said that nine times. She said that so many times. What's up, Asana? It is an honor to meet you two. I have heard of your deeds across Tavat. Oh, so he knows us. And as required by proper etiquette, I will also introduce myself. I am... Oh, Monsieur Nervillet. Nervillet. What an honor it is to have you here to see my show. Nervillet. I feel like I've heard it said two different ways already. Nervillet and Nervillet. Ah, Mr. Linney. I Nervalet. should say it is in fact an honor for me to see your performance in person. Oh, wait, Nervilet? <laughs> Could he be like the guy? Mm -hmm. I saw you all chatting just now, but it seems you still don't know who Monsieur Nervilet is. Monsieur. Allow me to introduce you to Fontaine's Chief Justice. Oh that God. Seat is always reserved for him. It wouldn't be too much to say that he's the symbol of justice and honesty here in Fontaine. I'm gonna climb up there and sit on it. Whoa! Uh, sorry for being so rude just now. He's like the symbol of no justice. Such an important person. No offense taken. Being Chief Justice is merely what I. He do is very work. chill. Nearly every person has their usual reserved seat, so I'm not so special, really. I feel as if he's gonna become very fiery, though, if, if things start going crazy. He also has like these like scales on the end of his uh his clothing. His fit is so nice. And by the way, I should probably let you know, even though I would prefer not to. There's someone sitting up there in the VIP seats. All right, dog. Striking a pose for quite a while. Was now. she always there, and I just didn't see her? Oh my God! Tell me she was there. I miss. <sighs> I wish I would have seen it. I believe she is trying to give you a most elegant and impressive first impression. So I think you should take notice of her sooner rather than later. Otherwise, she may become flustered. She just wants attention. She's like, I'm waiting. Tell me I look pretty. <laughs> huh? Oh, it's Farina, the Hydro Archon. <laughs> She sure has a smug and satisfied look on her face. It's that bitch. So she has no idea that you saw right through her act. Very good. That is for the best. No need to pay her any more attention. We may now enjoy the show. She has such a, like, a devious laugh. Huh? So is this what things are like between the chief he's not, and the Hydro Archon? He's not even cool with her. All right. Please wait she just ignore her. Longer. I've pretty much finished my preparations, and the performance will start as soon as the audience has made their way to their seats. Yay! The show is finally about to start! I hope nothing goes wrong. I can hardly wait! Paimon's never seen a real live magic show before! I mean, I hope something does go wrong because it'd be funny. I mean, like, cool lore, but. Here we go. Full house. Seats oh, sold out. The lights. The show must be starting. Here we go. Nervalette. Oh, sorry, Paimon will try to stay quiet. <laughs> Paimon just chirping. Welcome, one and all, to the Opera Epicles. I am the star of today's show, Linny. Where's your sister? I like your sister more. And over here is my sister, Linny. Yeah! Linny is my wonderful yeah! assistant. Please, let's give her a warm welcome. Hello, everyone. It's my girl right there. <laughs> I know she may seem to be a little sleepy right now, but that's just a sign that she's nervous. Why did he point that out? Whatever. Okay, wow, that 
that you seem like you really hate this. Now, some of you may be thinking, two vision holders who can freely manipulate elemental powers performing magic is not true magic at all. So, I would like to take a moment to assure you that elemental powers will have nothing to do with what you will witness on the stage today. Integrity. Both Lynette and myself have removed our visions for the show. That way, even the gods won't be able to help us. So what if you, like, end up needing it? Oh, good point. That's what makes the show real magic. Now, without further ado, let the show begin. Lynette will now exit the stage to make some preparations. I know you might miss her, but don't worry. She'll be coming right back on stage momentarily. Perhaps in an unexpected way. I'm sure she'll be stealing the spotlight soon enough. What do you mean by that? Oh, and before I forget, there's one more thing I should say. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. Oh God. Oh God. A magician's greatest skill is making okay. things disappear or appear. The possibilities are endless. See that chat? That's pretty cool. Okay, what is he cooking? Uh -huh. <laughs> Good old levitation card act, classic. Dove, okay, I like a little dove. Music's really good here. Very circusy. But this isn't what you came for. These little tricks, you've seen them all before. So it's time for something truly extraordinary, don't you think? Wait. This one's a little tricky. Bird! I shoot it for food. Oh, oh, hi. Using this water tank, I shall make my sister vanish completely right before your very eyes. Like Houdini? Is she gonna die? She's gonna drown. Woo! It's actually quite simple. She'll just turn into air bubbles and float right out of the top. Wait. Dude, this is like my worst fear. I can't, I hate the idea of being trapped. I told them to check all the props carefully. With the lid on, even air can't escape. An amateur magician would be getting very nervous right Dang. around Dang. <laughs> Luckily, it's me on stage. So let me show you what a true virtuoso can do. Good presence. She's naked. Uh -huh. Lynette. Lynette. Are you still there? Don't go too far. We don't want to use She died. Hi, I'm back. Uh -huh. What? Whole same fit and everything. How do they do it? Wow. <laughs> Puzzle Lord loves it. Very impressive, Lenny. I don't know how you did that. Everybody's impressed. I'm impressed. I don't know. That's trustworthy power, though. You can't even be slight at hand. She literally turned into bubbles. If she's Animo, well, she had to have had her vision on her then, right? She can just like turn into air. She must have just been lying or like had the vision because she went off stage. If we could see easily through his tricks, I don't know. I don't know. mean that his skills are still lacking. True. To appreciate magic, you should focus on the show happening on stage rather than getting caught up in trying to see that which has been intentionally hidden. I think you mean something deeper by that, huh? Yes, you're right. Hyman couldn't believe her eyes when Lynette reappeared. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm glad you enjoyed that performance. That was really cool. But 
Our magical journey has only just begun. There's more. I've prepared even more astonishing surprises for everyone here. The magic of transformation and disappearance can go far beyond what you've just seen. There's more? I'm sure many of you are thinking that escaping the water tank was impressive enough. But Lynette is still my assistant after all. What if you take a random person from the audience? In which case, I have ample time to make all necessary preparations. So, for my next ah, trip, someone from the I crowd. will the participation of one lucky audience member. Choose Paimon! Please, if my assistants could bring out the magical boxes now... They gotta cut Paimon in half. <laughs> Paimon actually dies. There are two boxes, and only two boxes. One is here, and one is there in the aisle among the audience. Mm. I'm sure many of our clever audience members have already guessed our next magic trick. <laughs> A swap. Hmm. Paimon's gonna TP from one to the other. Our lucky audience member and I will each enter a magic box. After one minute, we will each emerge from the opposite box. Okay. Now please. Can't side of hand, side of hand your way out of this. Close attention to the box you see here. Don't give me any chance to make a move. Wow. How's he gonna do this? Hey, do you think this is all magic tricks, or does Lenny have actual superpowers? I think we can actually see how he does it. I mean, like, maybe he has, like, an underground passageway or the something. The audience member will be generated by this random number selection. That's even crazier odds. He's not even picking somebody out. It selects numbers entirely at random. Even I don't know who will be chosen to participate. Now That's then, crazy. Let's begin. It's gonna be Fossilor. Could you imagine? No way, right? Let me see. Oh no. Row seven, seat three. Congratulations! You! you now have the chance to experience magic firsthand for an entire minute. Random NPC number four. Please come forward. My assistant will take you beside the magic box. The assistant mask is so creepy. All these masks are so sort of horror field. A little cramped inside, but no need to feel nervous. I don't like We've it. Carefully arranged everything for you to be as comfortable as possible. I don't like it. You don't need to do anything, but no matter what strange things may happen, don't come out of the box. That's. I want to get out if something weird happens, bro. If the match. I didn't sign a liability you, form. Who knows where you might end up? You might even find yourself in the fortress of Meripede. What is that? Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> She's like, I was on my phone on TikTok a minute ago. I didn't want to get selected. All right. Before I enter the magic box, there is one more thing I need to ask the audience to do. Could you all give me a countdown? Like this. 60, 59. That's a long way to count. Just keep counting down. You can go a little faster or slower. 10, 9, know. 8, 7, 6. I can, like get to one instantly. I won't be able to see anything in the pitch black box, so I'll be relying on your voices to know when time is up. Maybe he actually has superpowers. Oh, and no tricks now. If you quickly count from 60 in just 30 seconds, then I'll be in a tough spot. Okay, integrity. Paimon kind of wants to count faster after hearing him say that. <laughs> you dirty, <laughs> sly dog. Okay, with the whole crowd counting together, you couldn't even, if you wanted to, you'd have to like speed up the chant. No, no, that won't do. Did he hear your that? <laughs> still can't be trusted. Let's practice together. Come oh, they're going too fast. 60, 59, 58, 57. 60, 59, 58. That's a lot of crowd. That's right. Perfect. Keep it going. All right. I'll see you all on the other side once you've finished counting. Oh, sevens in chat. Goodbye, Lenny and random girl. We will never see you again. 54. I am counting in my head. <laughs> I think things are exciting enough in here as it is. <laughs> Merely a consequence of my identity and personality. Do not worry about me. Just enjoy the show. I like his personality. Oh. All right. You look so serious that Paimon thought you might be feeling uncomfortable or something. 40, 39, 38. Mr. They are Andy, into it. Are you all right in there? Is everything ready? Garrick. Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just double checking the direction of the magic. She would be a disaster. What if he doesn't get it right? Wrong places. For example, midair right above the audience. Even though he's that would kind of be funny. He doesn't seem nervous at all. 
I think it's all a part of the show. Maybe he's just supremely confident in his abilities. Bang! Uh-oh. What was that noise? Did you hear it too? Did it come from the stage? Maybe it was to divert our attention. I'm not sure. Anyway, it doesn't seem like anyone's worried about it. 24! 23! What's wrong, Mr. Linny? I can still hear you moving in there. I seem to have accidentally knocked over a decoration. I'm trying to <laughs> fix it, but it's pitch black. Again. <laughs> trying to fix okay, it. Left right. Never mind the decorations. There's We're trying no to make it look that. good. The show is what's important. No, that's unacceptable. I want my show. Is he gonna mess up? Don't worry, we still have 20 seconds. Hear them counting. He only needs five, just like me. 19, 18, 17. Did I say that out loud? Things aren't quite going as planned. I apologize, everyone. It feels like you're all starting to count faster, but that's all right. I know it can be tiring to do such a long countdown. Yeah, count it from 60. 10 seconds and change is still plenty of time. Here we go. Ten. Here we Almost go. There now. <sighs> Swapping two people is harder work than you might think. Even a master magician like me can't guarantee I'll get it right the first time. <laughs> Hey, wait, is this the back one? Or does he even can't know? Tell. They both look the same inside. Huh? No, that's not <laughs> He it. doesn't know! I'll try again. Seven! Hey, slow down! Six, Honestly! Five, it's kind of funny. Four, three, oh, oh, Oops. oh, that doesn't no. Count. Bad look. Zero. That doesn't count! Wait. Did he do it? He did it again! That's my man! Who did he could never! Masterpiece. She's in there, right? Surely she's in here. Pause. I got crushed. She did too. She died. Two people just died. Oh, what the fuck? He insta his face insta dropped. He knows he messed up. Why did the tank drop? That was not even supposed to be near it. Oh god, I thought it was part of the act until I saw the guy crush under. Is this part of the show? Play it off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, yeah, this is part of it. Maybe she wasn't in there when she got crushed. You use magic to fix the stage now, right? <clears throat> After this ad break, <laughs> like what intermission. Oh no. Maybe this isn't part of the show. The girl was still in that box. Right? No way we just saw somebody die. That'd be next level for Genshin, right? This performance is over. Medical staff with me. Guards secure the scene and detain all the performers. Seal the exits. No one is allowed in or out at this time. <laughs> oh, yes, shoot. That's right. If this was just an accident, then we must investigate the cause. But if this was all part of some scheme, then... Then those accountable will not escape the judgment of the God of Justice. She sounds relatively hesitant, but also really punctual with that last line. No need to be alarmed, you two. We'll get to the bottom of this. Don't you dare enough. frame me. If I'm framed, I swear to God. After some time, the guards complete their investigation. Guardes. Unfortunately, the person who is in the magic box has been pronounced dead. His name was Cowell, one of the assistants in Linny's magic troop. Cowl? The good guy, Cowl? Genshin has never gone that dark. Honestly, I know it's really early. I'm glad they did that shit. That is a twist that I am in love with. 
R.I.P. Cal, but man, my entertainment level is through the roof. Apparently, the fireworks on stage ignited the ropes that were suspending the water tank, which then caused the tank to fall on. The fireworks. Oh, that's As right. Now, we are still not sure why we found Cowl in the box rather than the guest from the audience. The guest from the audience is missing. And after an initial search of the area, the guards have confirmed that the girl is nowhere to be found. I have a feeling it was definitely not the fireworks, so it's a uh, <clears throat> fatui, maybe like a smells like a little fatui in here, you know what I mean? It appears that this incident was not merely some mishap with the performance. Uh... And there are many indications that it is connected with the case of the serial disappearance. That's right! Well, the, the serial disappearances case? Get Charlotte on this. This is big stuff for the paper. <laughs> And to pull it off like this in front of an audience, including the Archon of Chief of Justice. <laughs> I know. I know the truth. I can see through the whole thing. Really. Using such a shallow and obvious mystery as his finale. Did he really underestimate us that badly? You're talking about Lenny? I say that our powerful magician, Mr. Lenny is now the prime no. suspect for the serial disappearances case. He looked so concerned when it dropped. Huh? Why me? Because you're the one this who had the an trick. No. This all occurred during your magic show, did it not? Not Lenny. The missing girl disappeared after being chosen, did she not? The deceased is one of your assistants, is he not? You're a bitch, are you not? Now that I think about it, that whole speech about magicians making things disappear was nothing more than a provocation, a bald-faced challenge. That can't be right. How could Lenny do this? He didn't. He was in the box on the stage the entire time. We could even hear his voice. Besides, before the show, he told us that he would like to catch the criminal behind the disappearances. Yeah. He couldn't possibly mean catching himself. He's a suspect at most. It's hard to believe all that happened during the show. Save discussion for a later time. This person please. died. That's crazy. Farina, may I assume Look at her that hair. Your comments just now constitute Glowing. an accusation against Mr. Linney and his associates, and that you are pressing charges? You're under arrest, my man. I just think that he... Well, I uh, think it might be a little early to talk about formally pressing charges. Why is she so? Why is she doubling back though? If you're gonna say it with your chest, say it with your whole chest. Say it with every bit of your chest. If you're gonna actually press charges, don't half-ass that. That's a big thing to say out loud. But what Lady Farina said just now makes perfect sense. Oh man, now they're gonna expect her to do it. Personally delivered. Jesus. A kidnapping and murder carried out. She's hesitant. A magic show. Lady Farina said it all. Didn't? Yeah, she is acting really sus. <laughs> uh, I mean, of course, my dear people. But what excites Very insecure me vibes. more than the obvious truth before our eyes is the opponent I'll be facing. You better face these hands in a minute. That's right. I mean, you. What the fuck? Hey, 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 hey. hey. After all, he was the one who helped you the first time we met. I was watching. That's complete. You cannot give me a stray bullet like that. But then I say, I double down. I say, I, I trust Lenny. I do. I do. <laughs> then there's no problem at all. You know, the Traveler and I already had a duel the first time we met. She want me so bad. But with Lenny's help, our little duel ended in a draw. <laughs> but draws really are the most boring possible outcome. She got a point there. So, no more draws. Between the two of us, there must be a clear winner and loser. And what better place to hold such a riveting showdown and decide the true victor than here, on the grandest of stages, the Opera Epicles. Is this not just spitting on a dead man's body? This, we should just like be quiet for a minute. A man just died. We about to duke it out over why the man died and why the woman's missing. This place sucks. It wasn't a draw. It's crazy. She's actually a psychopath. I understand. 
charges have now been pressed, and as such, a trial is in order. Nervalet, you know me! You know me! Nervalet, look in my eyes! Well, I love you! Seems Lady Farina has set you in her sights. But putting her dramatic rhetoric aside for a moment, I would like to ask you... Are you willing to act as Mr. Linney's attorney and defend him in this case? No! I'm not qualified for that! Okay, yeah, sure. Why not? That's the only well. option. The trial will be held a day from now in the Opera House. Both sides may investigate the scene to build their cases and search for the truth. Okay. Linny and his troop are all potential suspects. Oh and shall God. remain within the Opera House. He has to just live here? The audience may begin to leave in an orderly fashion once they have been cleared by the guards. Guards. A day isn't that long. Let's see what kind of case this big shot outlander can build in such a short amount of time. <laughs> I'm really quite looking forward to hearing it. Her laughs are really unique. Everyone is dismissed and the audience begins to leave along with Furina and Nervalette. Oh man, he's got to feel so bad for killing a man. Sorry he didn't. Everything that happened just now. Were you frightened? That smells a whole like like Fatu a whole lot like Fatui ass. Of course. Who wouldn't be scared after witnessing an accident like that? Yeah, I'm a little shaken up myself. How could this happen? And poor Cal. Hmm. I know you already claimed that you would defend me, but now it's just us talking. Tell me, do you think I could possibly be the murderer? Hands down, no, but it would be a crazy plot choice if you actually were, bro. Good to hear. Thank you so much for trusting me. I actually love Lenny. I'm sure everyone sees me as the biggest suspect at this point. If he's but gaslighting if me. Ask me, the whole thing is mysteries layered upon mysteries, such that all that's left is confusion. I might be getting marinated. I don't know whether what happened there on the stage was purely an accident or not. And I don't know why poor Cal was in the box. I mean, I know why a Fatui would do it on purpose because it it creates room for vulnerability and for for lack of focus, right? And that's what the Fatui are really trying to do here. They're trying to create lack of focus on an Archon's behalf so the Gnosis can be stolen every single time. And they just like chaos. They're just bad human beings. As for how that girl chosen from the audience could suddenly Because it's a moment to like swoop in and I'm afraid I don't have any give they answers want. either. If someone tampered with my performance, then we need to figure someone out really what Someone really died. Did. That's crazy. <laughs> Even a skilled and knowledgeable magician like myself couldn't pull all that off in just one minute. Ah, <sighs> very strange, but there's no denying what happened. Which is precisely why we need to investigate. This is so fun. Says, <clears throat> the impossible could not have happened. Whatever happened must have been that- <laughs> What the heck? Where the hell did she get those glasses? I swear, I would love it if she keeps those on for the rest of the entire quest. That would be so good. Paima bought them when we were reading at the bookshop in the city earlier. Please leave it on. <laughs> Please leave it on. Paimon used her own savings to buy them. It wasn't from our travel funds. Oh my god. We have I travel funds. You don't need Paimon. Get a baguette, little beret. <laughs> This is so stupid. <laughs> That's the right attitude. Feeling depressed isn't going to help me now. I need to get back to my normal self. But with the guards watching our every move, it's going to be especially difficult for Lynette and I to prove our own innocence. Good thing you agreed to be our attorneys. Oh, God. <sighs> Thanks for that. We gotta play Ace Attorney. You. Don't, because I don't know how to help you. Yes, thank you so much. All right, okay. I'm used to this sort of thing. I'm lying. I'm not, but okay. Why are we giving them so much false confidence? Oh, uh, since we're going to start investigating, Paimon has a question first. Where did Lynette go during the performance? Uh, true. Oh, uh, well, I'm afraid that would involve some of our essential Dog! trade secrets as magicians. There was a murder. Somebody died. The secrets behind our magic are Who done it? Lenny. What I'm saying. Also, I'm noticing this is a who done it now. Oh my god. They foreshadowed the who done it when they were reading at the uh the thing earlier. They were talking about novels in comparison to Yaimiko publishing house. Suppose you're right. That's so cool. The truth behind our tricks is going to be important evidence that will be weighted during the trial. <sighs> Tis truly a pity. 
As a magician, he genuinely loves it. Shows a work of art. We've poured countless hours and spared no effort in perfecting it. But if revealing our secrets will Tis help you pity. uncover the truth behind what happened, then it will be well worth it. We should go somewhere else if we're going to discuss our magic tricks. We'll go speak with the guards, and in the meantime, you can go investigate the stage in the seating area. Okay. Alright, let's go have a look while the investigation teams are still here. Detective Pymon is on the case! I got a deep, deep feeling that that's going to stay on for the whole Archon Quest, and I love it. I'm here for it. It's so funny, man. Hello, officer. How's the investigation going? Yeah, we're Lenny the Lovett's attorneys. <laughs> ah, I see. It's mom. You must be the traveler that Lady Farina mentioned. Listen, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I'd avoid getting mixed up in this whirlpool of a mess if I were you. I'll be honest, Esmond. I think it's a little too late. Huh? What do you mean? Come with me and you'll see. Oh, God. The deceased is one of Linny's assistants named Cal. Oh, God. Even he didn't join the troop long, he was hardworking and everyone generally liked him. Can we get a bunch of sages in chat and, and in the comment section? If you're watching this on YouTube, we need some sad, 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 sad faces. Poor the man. Assistants are usually in charge of setting up and inspecting the props, as well as assisting with the show and keeping the crowd engaged. As you probably saw when you were in the audience, the water tank suddenly smashed and smashed the box with Cowl inside it. Why was Cowl on the inside? Wasn't the girl supposed to be in there? This is the real mystery. We've already a little the scene outline. Find, however, if you look oh. careful, the box was positioned directly under the water tank. <laughs> the ropes holding the tank were then burned by the pyrotechnics on stage, causing them to snap. Or were they burned on purpose? All these factors lining up so perfectly makes it hard to see this as a mere accident. If anything, the more logical explanation is that the whole incident was intentionally planned, and Linny is the most likely person to have access to all these areas. But what if anybody else is involved too, you know? It's trade secrets or whatever. But he doesn't have a motive. Yeah, why would he just unprovoked, unprovokingly just kill a man, you know? Are you both good friends of his? No. No. Uh, well, we can't say we're good friends, but... <laughs> like a day. For a little while. Yeah, I guess we don't know if he has reason to unprovokingly kill a man. I don't know so him. In just a short time, he was not only able to win your trust, but even convince you to act as his attorneys. <laughs> You're a damn good detective, I'll tell you that one, Esmond. I know there's no such thing as magic. <laughs> the real trick of a magician is holding the audience in the palm of their hand. He's a real good magician. I've seen a lot of cases. And I can tell you <laughs> that people are the least reliable kind of evidence. All right, man. People could also be good. Sorry. I tend to be. He should be the lawyer. Just know that I'm warning you for your own good. You don't even know me. What do you care? Anyway, you may investigate the scene of the crime yourselves if you're curious. Who knows? Maybe you'll be able to come up with some new evidence. <sighs> what if Esmond did it? And who done it? You always gotta suspect everybody. What if it was Esmond? Mystery book, evidence, perception skill. That's a lot of words. Too bad I ain't gonna read them. The deceased. Wow, this is truly a who done it. The deceased is one of Lenny's assistants named Cow. He was well trusted by all of his colleagues, and he set up everything and kept the crowd engaged. Okay. Blaming uh, Nervalet would be interesting. I, he was here from the start. Like, you gotta look at murder mysteries this way, where who was there at the start? W like, Lynette left. Lenny sets the whole thing up. There was a lot of people in the crowd. The lights went out. I mean, so many variables. Uh, we have Fossilor's, like, weird hesitation personality. This is incredible setup, because you just don't freaking know. You can't accuse someone without all the facts. Dang, bro. Fernanda's also there at the start. She was like watching beforehand. Da -da 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 -da. Surprisingly nice and instantly pushed Lenny and Fern that called them. Yeah, when he called them out. All right, clue number one, a dead man's body. 
The magic box was struck here. If Cowl was weren't inside the box at the moment, he might have dodged the falling water tank. That is an unfortunate way to go. I mean, honestly, probably a pretty good way to go because you die pretty quickly. Oh, I already got that. Some kind of sacrifice, you think? It's like the low hanging fruit that's really obvious is to blame it on the Fatui. For that reason, I kind of want to pull back that theory. I just don't think it would be that obvious, right? There's got to be some. That would be crazy if an Archon just killed a man to like prove something or sacrifice something. Where is this clue? I'm standing on top of one, no? Thirty-five meters, thirty-four. It's up top. Oh, E button. I didn't. <laughs> that's what you get for not reading. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, that's me. Looks like an ornate box, but Lenny somehow moved instantly from the stage to being inside of it. How did he do it? Yeah, and you had the whole thing about impending prophecy. But killing a person to save many. Is weird. I see that you're investigating the area. Well, it just so happens that I'm interested too. See another detective. If you find any new and interesting leads, be sure to share them with me. All right. Isaldor. We don't have too many thoughts yet. <laughs> then why don't I tell you my hypothesis first? The way I see it. <laughs> Who are you? With that loud thud. The thud? <laughs> Paimon, I can't take you seriously. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, exactly. It wasn't terribly loud. Uh, I I it most people heard it. It's just that everyone was awaiting the results of Lenny's trick with bated breath. So no one paid it much mind. But now that the incident has happened, the thud has become an important clue. Hmm. Okay. That makes sense. So, what do you make of it? Pom is like, what do you think, the Sherlock? I'm of the opinion that it may have been the Watson. Sound of it's Lenny's elementary. Lynette, perhaps, jumping atop the water tank or something like that. Okay, so he's putting the blame on Lynette. And when the pyrotechnics went off, she cut the rope, sending the water tank crashing down. What reason? Why did she want to kill a random man, Isildur? Wait. Wasn't the noise we heard too loud for that? True, there was a random thud. I forgot about the random thud. Oh my god. Perhaps the balance wasn't right, leading to a particularly rough landing. Then wouldn't the water tank have started to swing a bit in that case? Oh, that's true. We are detectives. Wow. I suppose I must reconsider. Hmm. That does remind Paimon, though. What was with that sound? Strange sound during the magic show. I almost forgot about the little thud. Okay, okay, okay. That's one thing out of the way. Connecting thud. Thug connected. Let's get up here. There's two more. Okay, one over there. Uh, all right, Quentin, what you got, man? What you think it is? Quentin knows. The investigation team has some new findings. Turns out there's an issue with the random number selector after uh -oh. all. Uh-oh. See, I told you. What if the machine picked some big guy's seat? You think the murderer would have still made his move then? It was specifically a girl. Sorry to interrupt, but we're helping Lenny and Lynette with their side Because only girls go missing. What were you saying about the number selector? There's something wrong with it? You're trying to help them? <laughs> That'll be a tall order. All right, man. Be a pessimist, will ya? Lenny used the machine to pick a random member of the audience during his performance, right? A lucky girl that later disappeared. It was rigged. Well, we thought there might be a serious problem with the machine, so we had it taken away for further inspection. It turns out that the seat number it picked wasn't random. This quest at is all. so much better than anything we've had before. That same number every time. This is like the best storyline quest of Genshin Impact. I'm sure you already know that you have to make a reservation in advance to get a seat. Regardless of whether it's a trial or some performance. In other words, 
Linny knew who would be sitting where from the very beginning. Like sometimes with Genshin Impact Quest, when new people play it, like my friends, I'm like, I know there's lull points, but this is like a hook. I know anybody would like this. Mm, that much checks out. New or old players. For us too. Let you see why I was saying it'd be tough to make a case for Linny. All right, man, then shut up. Mm, even though it's bad for Linny's case, so Lydia and Lynette are the only ones looking bad here. Random number selector was tampered with. The box thing, Lynette disappeared. The the knocking kind of like put that out of like uh, suspicion. But what does that connect with? I talked to you, but who else do I talk to? Over here. The rope. So this is the rope that broke and caused the water tank to fall. Hmm. The rope looks pretty durable. How can it be burned through so quickly by fire? It, was, it had to be like a vision type of burn, you know? So either Lenny didn't realize his, this was a safety concern or... Hmm? Why are you suddenly so serious, Traveler? I'm just looking at where the rope snapped. We really investigative oh. mode. Huh, so whoever set it up. Most of it was burned away, but there's still a little bit of it left. Seems flammable. Like a type of flash cotton. Oh, like prop cotton. Like it could be burned super easy. Huh. So if a rope meant to hold something was made with that kind of material in it, then that means wait, why don't you write all this down? Let's take notes. Already in my head. Special rope. Mental note. Hmm. Hello there. What are you investigating? The voices. Hmm. Oh, this location is also been cordoned off because the magic troop members are currently considered prime suspects. The investigation team is still collecting evidence. I am the uh, I'm the team. The That's seats me. We're all booked in advance. So we were able to deduce the missing woman's identity by checking the guest list. Who is she? Where are the attorneys? You could tell us. Sure. It's not like this is confidential information. We will publish it later anyway when we petition the public to help us find the missing person. Her name is Halsey. She's a painter from The Fox Singer and made a bit of a name for herself. Oh my god, I love Halsey. She dated G Easy. Oh no, she was great. Apparently, she wasn't a regular at the opera house, but she'd been feeling some pressure with her work lately, which made her decide to come. No, see the Halsey died. The magic troop members all claim not to know her. We have looked into her social connections. It seems that she had no personal grievances or conflicts of interest with the suspects. Imagine he said we looked into her social connections. The only relative she has is Geezy. Simply put, she wasn't related to the magic troop at all. Which matches the features of the previous serial disappearances. Hmm. Halsey's kind of hot. The victims of previous cases also chosen at random. That's how it seems to us, in any case. Apart from the fact that they were all young women of around the same age range, there really weren't any other connections between them. <sighs> Somebody just wanted a bunch of girls for some reason. Thanks for letting us know all this. I don't need to be so formal. If you do happen to see the missing girl, please be sure to contact us. Will do, brother. It is of utmost importance that we get to the bottom of these disappearances. Will do. Ace. Amen, brother. Halsey. Record hit recording artist. Gone. All right, I'm two out of three still. Where's the last one? Where's this last connection here? Mm, I can't leave this building. Oh, I can go outside the room, though. Oh, here we go. Hey, you. Yes, <gasps> both of you. Over here. I've oh. been keeping an eye on you for a while now. It's Taylor Swift. Oh. Huh? Uh, <laughs> oh my god, it's her. It's her. That's right. If I'm not mistaken, you're also okay. among those who wish to cut down the thorns and pursue the truth. No. And by the looks of it, you're not from Fontaine. I well, love the voice. Right about that one, but who are you? Who are your guards? Oh! <laughs> Have you never heard of the Spina di Rosula? No, but that's beautiful. Are you single? 
from mediating disputes and providing protection to solving conundrums. You name it. Spina di Rosula does it. She's like the detective center. And I, Navia, have the honor of being its renowned president. She, Navia, I mean like... So I heard you like Geo Rocks, is that right? Though those is that true? Our rules, call me boss. <laughs> I'm Silver, her attendant. Pleased to meet you. Silver, that's such a slick name. And I'm Melus. <laughs> Demoiselle's various daily needs and affairs are under my purview. He said, I got trees again. <laughs> Bro smoked a whole pack. Huh? Boss. Demoiselle. Demoiselle. What's with the names? <clears throat> well, I am the second generation president. Malus and the others are still used to my previous title. Uh oh. My apologies. She said the wrong one. Should you prefer, boss, I will endeavor to use that instead. Man, she's so hot. Uh, I also I can't keep harp stop harping on the fact that the, the vision should have been in little wheels. No, no need. You don't have to call me boss. Just Navia is fine. Navia. Okay, if you say so. Not the remembrance of Spina di Rasula anyway. Spina di Rasula. <laughs> All merely trifling details. Never mind. Now back to the situation at hand. So you want to investigate as well? That's right. I've always had to serial disappearance cases. My interest stems from a matter back from my father's time. Judging from the look of things, I find Lily Vision. an unlikely mastermind. Really? We think so Agree. too. That's why we're looking for clues now. But how did you come to that conclusion? Intuition, naturally. My unparalleled intuition. What are you, a Pokemon, Pokemon trainer now, bro? Marina sure was quick to point the finger at Linny without any decisive evidence whatsoever. Amen. Wasn't she? Amen. But that's not uncommon for her. If you remember, the justice had to interrupt her and ask if she was pressing charges just to keep her from getting carried away. Mm, a little sus. Anyway, a trial begins the moment someone levels charges. And, of course, there was no way that was going to back down in that situation. Sounds more like you just don't trust the Hydro Archon. That's true, Mustache Man. Well, what's your opinion? I must admit that she can be interesting at times, but liking her doesn't mean that I'll blindly agree with her. That's a very good way to put it. All right, I've answered your question. Now, it's time you answer mine. Guess I'll marry you. Wait a minute, did that answer count? <laughs> okay. Well, I say it does. But don't worry. You won't hear any pointless questions from me. In your opinion, do you think it's right to treat a trial like it's an opera? No, I think it's weird, actually. Um, well? Not really. And why would that be? Because it's weird, man. It makes it easy for the truth to fall by the wayside. Something so serious should be treated like entertainment. <laughs> Her design is so good. See? You they'd be different. They just like us for real. Most astute of you, Demoiselle. His voice, I right? I think that the traveler's response was most excellent. No matter how wonderful the script or how fervent the audience's expectations may be, the trials we, that we. go on stage here must be based in fact. True. None of this performance stuff. Then if that can be done, boss, then... All right, that's quite enough, Melissa. Then what? Anyway, I like your answer. You pass with flying colors. Now, I need to make some preparations, following which our joint investigation shall commence. You two shall be my assistants. <laughs> I love how I just got signed up to work for her out of nowhere when I'm doing my own investigation. Hey, since when did we become assistants? She just like gaslight me into working for her. Mm -hmm. I'll let her, girl well, boss. I can be the assistant, sure. Or your companion if you like. I'm really not that fun. She just wanna work together so bad. <laughs> I think you're missing the point, Palma. It seems like you've already agreed. There's no way she entangled us to this. Far be it from me to brag, but I believe that Demoiselle's intuition will be instrumental in uncovering the truth. This dude been through some stuff through his voice. I can already tell. You wish to save a friend from false accusations and mutual we wish goals. To the disappearances. In this sense, our goals are aligned. Hmm. You have a 
point. <laughs> You're quite the talker, aren't Smooth you? Smooth with those words. And what about you over there? What do you think? You seem like you've got something on your mind. Is he blind or is that just for effect? I have nothing to add. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, then. Does not elaborate further. We're making some preparations first. Uh, just be sure to let us know if they start revealing Linny's tricks. <laughs> Thanks. It was so great to meet you. I love you already. I have to pull for her. I hope she saves Geo. You single-handedly need to save Geo, ma'am. Are you evidence? Yeah, here we go. Sorry, but no one can freely enter or exit the opera house at the moment. I literally if can. If you wish to leave, you must register your identity with us first. No, we're not leaving. We're representing Linny and Lynette as attorneys, so we're investigating the case. Were you always guarding this entrance? Yes. After the He's chief so justice cute. gave the order, everyone coming in or out must undergo a strict inspection. Pat me down. So, the missing girl couldn't have left from here. At least, not from that point on. What about during the show? I doubt there was much opportunity then, either. The lights were off. She was in a box. How can you be so sure? <laughs> Fireball, bro. <laughs> well, because I was in charge of security near the entrance at that time. I couldn't see Linny's performance from here, which was quite a shame. Just my luck. She wanted to see the act. But still, I did not abandon my post. And I stayed put no matter how loud the applause was. If someone had so much as even approached the door, I would have noticed it. Let alone if they had tried to leave. True. Melazines are good at that sort of thing, you know. So he's really well spoken. So, it's safe to say the girl couldn't have left through here. Right, I concur, Doctor. This will be useful info. Entrances and exits to the Opera House. We're getting all of the info for the Who Done It. I just killed that thing by accident. Hmm. My mom wonders how Lenny's discussion with the guards is going. Right, let's wrap this up. He's innocent, I tell ya! Interesting, huh? Innocent! I'm the god of wisdom and I know he didn't do it. Then I will be going with you. Just so you're aware, I will be monitoring your actions and making notes as necessary. Molly. Yo, yeah, what's up, Molly? Very good. Thanks for being so agreeable. I'd pull a rose out of my hat as a gift for you if I could. Please don't do that right now. You might bring out a gun. You're kind of a suspect. Don't pull anything out of your hat. You may spare the pleasantries. I'm just doing my job. She kind of... You've arrived. Uh, who's this? It's giving Taylor Swift. Me? <laughs> I'm Spina de Rosula's guardian angel. If you got a problem, Damn. I've got the firepower. She got the squad. <laughs> and legs. I got a little carried away there. Call me Navia. I'm a partner of theirs, and we'll be helping investigate this whole situation. Why she got so much leg? And these are my companions. Would you mind if they join as well? Me? Who? Oh, not Fine me. By me. Oh, new helpers? I would be most grateful. Well, let's just say we're tagging along. It's not every day you get to see the secrets behind magic performed on such a large scale. <laughs> I appreciate your kind interest. Come with me. We'll be heading below stage. Below the stage. Under. Huh? Below stage? Yes. There's more? The world of secrets is hidden beneath this magic box. It had to have been a path, you know? Trick. It's just like a little, like, tunnel. But before I reveal everything, you should have a look first. Notice anything strange here? Hmm. Open the box. I'm not trying to be dramatic. Remembering the details of a trick will help you understand the methods used to perform it more easily. Huh. Were there, there were balloons, balloons and, other and other decorations. decorations he was like tampering with them. Go? Ah, good eye. That said, you're still far from discovering the answer. The back door isn't the same. Yeah, I'm smart. Uh, the back? You mean the inside of the door? What's different about it? Paimon didn't notice anything. Probably can't see past those goofy glasses. I don't blame you. <laughs> Very good indeed. I thought you might not be able to catch that, given that you were sitting in the first row. The back of this door was patterned. Those patterns are now gone, replaced by a smooth wooden, wooden board. board. 
So, if you put two and two together, what do you get? There's another box inside of this box. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's go. I'll tell you how it works as we head down. Okay, so it's literally just gonna be a tunnel passageway, I guarantee it, below oh, stage. So there was yeah. A under the, magic box. the passage linked the two boxes together. That's a really easy explanation. <laughs> I knew you'd figure out most of it as soon as you saw this place. The two magic boxes are positioned right above the two entrances of the tunnel. See this? It's a lot of engineering for one trick. It's a lot of work to do. The box with the lucky audience member in it would be shuttled over to the other side using the trolley. And they wouldn't be able to see anything either because it's just like a, a faux box. This trolley can raise and lower and even rotate, ensuring that the box will face in the right direction. And if you're in the box, you don't know you're moving, really. I see. So that's the purpose it's an easy of the trick. box inside another box. Precisely. The inner box would descend after the audience member sense. was put inside and <coughs> moved along the trolley. All while the outer box would remain on stage as if nothing had ever changed. So that's how you did it! Ba -ba, debunked! Once the box Don't was share moved, that trick anywhere, okay? The trolley would store some Secret. energy through this device here, with which it would complete the rest of the steps. Box in a box. The audience member would only be able to feel some slight movements in the dark, and by the time she walked out, she would already be back on stage. Imagine being so damn confused when you walk out. <laughs> You're like, where am I? But instead, uh, she might be dead now. So anyways, that's worse. Right. You were talking that whole time. And you even came out for a moment near the end. True. Ah, uh, yes. A phonograph operated by Lynette was used to achieve that effect. Ah, that's cool. My assistant and I had already scripted our conversation beforehand. When the countdown began, I had already gone to the opposite box via a tunnel so using smart. that ladder. And what about Lynette? Where was she? I was in the mezzanine space in the back of the box. She was always attached. Oh, so she couldn't have done the rope thing. She was with us at all times. That's how we were able to coordinate Lenny's lines with the assistant. And by the way, I was the one who walked out of the box at the end. I mean, we are twins. All it takes is a change of clothes, and no one can tell who's who. But what about your tattoo? Are you sure about that? Y'all look alike, but not that alike. You're fraternal. Not identical, you know? I mean, your hair is almost not even the same shade. How did you escape it? And that's Maybe because she's a cat. part of this trick. Only Lynette and I can perform it. So that's how it all worked. Wow. That's a Every lot of effort. Field was more amazing than the last. A lot of thought went into it. Lynette would briefly walk out of the box and then go back in, jumping into the tunnel and escaping before I was going to ask, like, could he was still segment. there. And then I walk out of the other box in the audience area, and the trick would be complete. The operative word here being would. And uh, somebody dies, which did happen. Because I, I was so confused as to how Lenny popped out. It was like, oh, 10 more seconds, guys. But it was like a phone over top of lip syncing for uh, for Lynette. And then he's crawling under and crawling up like a tunnel. That's really smart. But as you saw, Cal was in the box. <sighs> That's crazy. She, on the other hand, mysteriously vanished. We really don't know how that happened. If not for that, I interlude, believe them. This would have been an astonishing trick. I probably never would have figured out how you pulled it off. I would have. And yet, to think that someone was able to use this magic trick to commit a crime. Could we have a look around? I think we can come up with some more leads. Hmm. This is the scene of the crime. Is there any way so out of this room? Are not permitted to stay here. I'll escort them back up. Yes, of course. No need to be so strict now. I won't disappear into thin air, you know. You literally could, which is crazy. So don't even say a Thanks joke like that. Him. We're counting on you. You're the actual magician here. <laughs> okay, lots of things to write down. Holy writing. Huh. So is there any way out of this room other than those two holes? Salmon control board. This is the mechanism to make the trolley work. Okay, that makes sense. Oh my God, holy clues. A ladder to go up to the box above. Cause that's, this, yeah, it'll fit. It's one big, big box. So you can just get in the back. Huh. What's this? 
the girl i just don't know where the girl could have been kidnapped out of the lights went off for a second sure but that's really fast timing to like move him away looks like a, a hook tied to the end of a rope huh there's all kinds of odds and ends here lenny didn't mention the rope the rope's not a part of the act perhaps it was a prop for a different trick but why would it have been left here whatever it is let's make a note of it first always write it down peepo g noted Okay, rope done. What's next? Broken vase. Vase. Uh, the floor is wet. Please be <laughs> careful not to slip. Thank you, Miles. Speaking of which, why would there be water here? Guys, we can't just say maybe it was for a trick. Okay, it's one trick we're investigating. Oh, Hyman knows. It's one of those tricks where you pour water into a jug and then the crash. The jug over only for the water to disappear. Wait, was that a ceramic crash though, or and bang? This is more of like a wood me. bang, I thought. Huh? Did the trolley knock it down while moving? Uh, that can't be. It's like a thud. Not like a <laughs> it was shattered. To finish. Hmm. Let's note this down too and think about it later. I can't take you seriously, Paimon. Please take it off. I mean, it's funny, but God, you're really gonna keep it on the whole time. I I, admi I admire the commitment to the bit. These are the clothes that the lady chosen from the audience was wearing, right? They took her out naked? Her clothes are here, but she's nowhere to be found. Lenny didn't mention the guest having a wardrobe change. Right. And do you really need to do that if you're kidnapping them? Why make them naked first, bro? Ugh, this is so confusing. Hannah doesn't want to be a detective anymore. Oh, this is f turning very interesting. First of a murder, now a naked woman being captured? Halsey got naked? In any other circumstance, that'd be okay. High precision is required to complete a magic show, and tracks are perfect for making the trolley stay on its designated course. Honestly, not surprising. Classic Halsey. All kinds of props and costumes are haphazardly. I didn't read the rest of that, because I'm stupid. Examine trolley. The trolley is crucial for transporting the magic box to the other side. The culprit must have used this to execute their plan. Vent. They vented. Hit the button. Hit the button. They vented. It seems someone could fit through here. Probably like all of us could. That's a huge vent. Huh. Could this have been the suspect's escape route? Hmm, alone, perhaps. But if they had to pull another person with them, the space would be too narrow. Bro, I think both of you grown ass men could fit in there. What are you talking about? It's a huge vent. It's a huge vent. Other than the boxes that might, other than those that go through the magic boxes, and Linny and Lynette's were in the two magic boxes, so they couldn't have gone through there. Oh, you're right. Let Paima write that down. It's just a straight up lie. They could fit. <laughs> Tunnel vent. Yosef Zombies of Stratos? Yeah, there's a lot going on right now. Return to the service. How do I get back up? Yes. Let's head back up. Playing loot means kind of underrated. Can I go back up, please? Oh. Here we go. Bam, bam, bam. Well, we've ascertained the state of the crime Ascertained. Scene. That's a cool word. Let's find a place to sort out our findings once Malus returns. Seems to me that there are several things that don't add up here. Hmm. Apologies for the wait, demoiselle. So? Demoiselle. Did the criminal escape through the vent? Did they vent into cams and get a double kill? They believe the odds of that are very low since the vent leads to the opera house's basement. How would that be low? Why wouldn't they just want to go to the basement? Doesn't that seem like a good place to hide a body that's naked? The guards have checked the area carefully. 
No one left through the basement during the performance or after the incident, <laughs> and no one was like, found hiding there. He's like, it couldn't have been that, because it goes to an even more discreet, quiet location. So the tunnels become like a secret chamber then. You know, like the kind you usually see in novels. Yeah, uh, sure. Hmm. The plot thickens. <laughs> Who done it? death are both quite inexplicable. No wonder Farina was so confident in her accusation. All the current evidence was she though? Lenny and Lynette. In other words, the charges are very likely to be upheld unless we make some considerable progress. Will they be a, a death penalty? Charges and then trial. So if the charges are upheld, they'll announce a sentence? Which would definitely be death. That's right. For murder, I for I. goes in the opera house. During the proceedings, the chief justice and the oratrice We'll hear statements from both sides. Say the full name, not just oratories. Say the full thing. That's right. This is how indemnitium is produced. And that's how we have power in the city. The statements from both sides, the defenses from attorneys, witness testimonies, and even the audience's emotions will all be projected on the oratories. It's interesting how that works. To put it simply, it's as if the <laughs> oratories has its own will and is a judge in its own right. I don't like it. This also precludes any kind of favoritism on the part of the Chief Justice. And not that this has ever happened anyway. Really? You don't think he's got any favoritism? Fascinating. Fascinating, Malice. Fascinating. Once both sides have finished speaking, God bless the Chief Angles. Justice will make his final decision. This, too, will be used by the Oratrice as a reference. Hmm. So it's still up to him to pick. Then, finally. The oratrice will be consulted by officials. The result it returns is the will of justice itself. This is not how I ever imagined this Archon Quest going. This is so f interesting. I like thought it was gonna be so predictable. I thought it was gonna be like, oh, we're getting arrested. We gotta get our way out. This is totally different. There is very little difference. Both have always come to the same judgment. Which is why people have great faith in the chief judge. Ain't that so dangerous, though? People have so much faith in somebody they don't even—they don't question them anymore. Ah, yes. The guards also asked me to convey that none of us will be allowed to leave this place before the trial. I gotta stay here. Huh? Why? Because we've chosen to act as the twins' proxies. Oh. That makes <laughs> us persons related to the case. Oh God! So we could get in trouble too. <sighs> They're concerned that we might be colluding with outside parties. Or that we might find outside help to disrupt the case. And even if that were not so, it could prove problematic if we happen to spread key information about the case ahead of time. So we're just locked in here for how long? I'm ready to break out at any time. Bro, he just... <laughs> okay, Silver. Hey. He's a loose cannon. I like that. I like that energy. Just... We don't need to break out yet, man. <laughs> he said, I'll bust us out of here, guys. Uh, it's gonna blow the yeah, TNT. Yeah. Are they food? Oh, Jesus Christ. Actually, blow it up. Blow us all up. Of course. I just hope you don't mind the lack of options. <sighs> the catering to all tastes is not in the cards, nor is any guarantee of balanced nutrition. Or just give me some hard tack. I'll be happy about it. Yeah, I don't please. care. Let's just sort out our findings together here. Pity. I was hoping to take you to try some of Fontaine's famous desserts, too. Just say you want us. Oh my god. I mean, what better way to properly think through our findings than over some tea and sweets? That's such a casual way to ask me out. Huh. Breaking out suddenly doesn't seem like such a bad idea after all. Paimon. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Hey. Paimon will still do her best. Easy there. No Down, boy. Hmm? What do you mean, no snacks? <laughs> of course we'll have snacks. If we cannot buy some, then we'll simply make some. <laughs> yeah. Huh? You get a pie. Understood. Then we'll <laughs> Everyone, please come with me. Cut her off. Is I awake? Do you just have a cooking pot in your back pocket? Understood. Wait, you're carrying a portable stove with you? Wait, is this gonna be a new item for me? Yes, I must be prepared to meet the demoiselle's baking needs whenever the fancy strikes her. Bro is Sanji from One Piece, but he's just really old. I have eggs, sugar, and almonds at the ready. <laughs> Okay, man. <laughs> Good work, you two. Then I'll get to it. Please sit tight for a moment. You'll get to taste my awesome snacks soon enough. Oh, do these already exist? I'm just, I don't even know they exist. They are quite the interesting group. 
Must be a Spina di Rosula thing. You wouldn't get it. Navia methodically handles the ingredients and pulls fresh macarons out. Oh, they look so good. Good while it was still in the oven. Oh, it's even better now. Paimon can't stop drooling. Jeez, man, those are large too. Like From the way you had these two guys carrying all that stuff around, Paimon thought you'd have them do more during the baking process. Look how big they are. I've never had one that big. But you ended up doing the entire thing by yourself. Yeah, they're usually you small. Lights, grinding almonds, everything. I do know of a place near me that has them bigger. <laughs> Love this guy. This guy. And I was giving encouraging smiles. Love him. That's not quite what Papa meant, but all right. Paimon was just thinking. Aren't you worried about getting just here. dirty beating egg whites and baking like this? <laughs> well, I don't think it's carved in stone anywhere that fancy ladies can only read books, sip tea, write, and play the piano. Girl boss. Just really enjoy making snacks. Don't underestimate beating egg weights, by the way. It's a real arm workout. You also need to beat them to just the right consistency, or your macarons will crack. True. Anyway, give these a try. Fresh out of the oven. Oh, I wish I could bite into that right us. now. I wish I could bite into that right now. Only oh my god. Three? Pima, that's freaking huge. Relax. Well, eating too many sweet treats might send all that sugar to your head. How many could she eat? <laughs> you wouldn't be able to think clearly about the case on a sugar rush, would you? I could. Tea is ready to be served as well. This is Demoiselle's favorite. Strong black tea with a floral fragrance that clears the mind and lifts the spirit. <laughs> he knows her. He knows her so well. Why don't y'all take a break too? No need for concern. I'm merely doing as I should. I like their vibe. I like this trio. All right, then. <clears throat> Down to business. As Paimon mentioned previously, the tunnel seems to be something of a secret chamber. Maybe that's like the underground we're going to see. Also, are they just are they warming their hands up? However, we can assume that Linny and Lynette saw were not in the trailer within it. Some criminal also occupied its sealed confines. The magician twins could have committed the crimes, of course. But they lack any logical motive. True. Exactly. Why would they do such a thing right when everyone was watching? So apart from the twins, we're left with two other people, the missing girl and the deceased. Hmm. The flower vase and the thud we heard during the performance could indicate some altercation between Halsey and the criminal in the tunnel. The broken vase, we would have heard a different sound. Resulting in the shattering of the vase, the discarding of her clothes, and her abduction. This is crazy. Perhaps the criminal thought that since she was chosen from the crowd, she would be too easy to identify if she was still wearing the same clothes. So Brad just took them off? Paimon thinks that makes sense, but the real trouble is... Who is this third person? <sighs> True. None of the clues we found thus far support the existence of this third person. What if Cal did and he's still alive and like... No, no, they have the body. They could verify the body, right? But they would have said that. The only people left to consider are both technically victims. Whether it's the missing girl, Halsey, or poor Cowl. Because he's dead. He's dead. You proved that. Huh. Could Halsey have secretly made modifications to the magic props in order to murder Cowl Bro. before making her escape? I never thought about Halsey as a potential perpetrator. She had no way of knowing how the magic trick worked. Oh, what if she just had it out against Cowl? That's right. And even if she tampered with the setup, she would need to understand the entire trick to pull it off. Or does she have any motive? The Nobody has motive. She has never had any dealings with the Magic Troops members. I'm starting to think. Uh, never let, never let, and then Fosalor. Yeah, God, starting to think they look more sus. Were we not thorough enough in our search? From the sound of things, this is turning into an impossible case. Looking more sus. <laughs> they smell great. They're nice and crisp and super sweet. I can never make them on my own. They're so hard to make. <laughs> they are my specialty after all. And I see you've already had five of them. <laughs> Paimon. What? Five? Oh, that can't be right. They're the size of her I'm head. Three. Holy shit. I was gonna die from sugar rush. At my age, a few less sweets might actually be a good thing. Uh, no, no, 
She's gonna die from heart attack. So... She didn't eat five. If you ate them, you ate them. It's fine. Everyone knows how much you love eating. What is happening? That'd be hilarious if that's the way she died. <laughs> All right, we get it. Well, I suppose one of us might have gotten too engrossed in our chat. Uh, by mistake. Not a deal. Not a go, surely. It's gotta it's gotta be someone someone's under the table. Belus, set up the stove again, if you would. Huh? What are you doing? <sighs> Making sure everyone gets three macarons, of course. Five. Three, pie mine, three. Two were stolen. She's making one more for a bitch under the table. Exactly. Somebody stole it. You. As you wish, demoiselle. And I have the egg, sugar, and almonds. I can rely on him. Uh, well, this really is your hobby, huh? Navi, does a second round of baking over the two? Okay. How are the discussion that follows does not yield much progress? Well, that's it for snack time. That's it. Okay. I'm going to have another look around the area. I thought she had some kind of plan know what we're looking for yet but we've still got some time as attorneys i suggest the two of you think the case over again i got a feeling this is gonna be the end of the quest it would be awkward if you got all tongue-tied on i hope we get more trial. though i'm like on the edge of my seat all right, thanks for your help. no wait no it always has a conclusion in these archon quests <laughs> it was like nothing. parts have conclusions for the spina di rosula silver malus it's time to go I feel like in star rail you will like leave off at random me. points but this definitely has got to have a tie up. Third person being involved is now potential stuff. Good. Wait until the trial. Here is the trial. Eight o'clock the next day. Oh, wait, one whole day. All right, boys, this is it. We are going to court. We're going to fight the law. We're going to fight the man and the one man, the God man. We're going to figure out who done it. Here we go. We're all here and ready. What do we do? Is there a Who's jury? Is so confusing. I do have some thoughts, but let's take things step by step. Good plan. Impossible things don't just happen. We'll get to the truth one way or another. Uh, just relax. It's a tr Even jury back here. Suspects Lenny and Lynette. At least we will be supporting them from the stands. What if they get executed? Besides, I doubt Farina understands any more about what happened than we do. <laughs> Thanks, Navia. Well. We'll yeah, I bet she does it, huh? I bet she don't know nothing. Best of luck to you. Oh god, oh god. Pima still wearing the goofy outfit. Oh man, I feel like she's likely. Here we go. Lenny and Lynette. Oh, finally, you're back. Well, how did your investigation go? To be honest, you might be disappointed. There's potential of a third being there. But, buddy, it looks like it was you guys. No, no. We're already very grateful that you were willing to help. Well, now, don't you all look Fair disappointed. Enough. Don't tell me that your investigation came up empty-handed. She's actually kind of annoying me a little bit. Wow. That was to be expected, of course. The guilty can never produce proof of their innocence. She is very pretty, though. But don't let that stop you. I shall be terribly disappointed should you, Terrible. my Terrible. most anticipated foe, concede so easily. Just you wait. We got a goofy sidekick beside us. That's plot armor. Since both parties are present, I declare that the trial regarding the magic show incident is now in session. Yes, sir. Firstly, in order for the audience to understand the causes and results of the incident, could we please have Mr. Linney explain the trick? Man, you're gonna reveal all your tricks to everybody? Yes, of course. I will explain while Lynette demonstrates on stage. All the necessary items have been prepared. Okay. Lenny clearly reveals the details of the magic. Everyone in the audience is stunned. Thank you, Mr. Lenny. In that case, I take your statement to be that. Okay. You ran to and remained hidden within the magic box in the audience stands once the trick began, and thus could not have committed the crime. Is this correct? Amen. Yes, that's correct, Your Honor. In okay. that case, I call upon the prosecution, Lady Farina. 
Do you wish to refute his statement in any way? She's gonna go, yes. Nuh uh. Why, <laughs> of course I do. Allow me to take the first shot and break this case wide open. Mr. Lenny is clearly. Bro, alive. she did the thing. <laughs> She did the Ace Attorney thing, bro. Oh my God. There is no way this is too good. The whole time, if you were to abduct Damn. And murder Cowell. In fact, I'd say you were hardly in that tunnel at all. <gasps> that is simply your hypothesis based on the presumption that I'm guilty. Duh. Oh, is that so? And if I may ask... What did you hear while you were inside your box? A thud. The roaring countdown of the crowd, of course. That's how I Music's kept the good. time and built anticipation for the finale. And you didn't hear anything else at all? Nothing that might leave an impression of any kind? Hmm. No, nothing. The cut seems so good. I see. I love it. But when the count reached 30 seconds or so, there was a thud. One so loud that I believe practically everyone heard it. Except the people in the box. Huh? He didn't hear a thud? Hey, hang on. Something's not right here. How could Lenny not know about that sound? He was here. Yeah, I'm sure he could have heard a noise that loud from inside the box. There was a loud thud. I was no right thud. by the box and I definitely heard the thud. Uh... Oh god. Those scales. Could those mean The scales literally move based upon public perception. Oh shit. <laughs> well then That makes him look so and bad. Gentlemen, allow me to use the words of the magician himself. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. Indeed, it seems his alibi can also collapse in the blink of an eye. Why did he self-report like that? <laughs> of course, I have armed myself to do far more than smash your alibi. Confidence cannot go unfounded, and my foundations are rock solid. Tell me, aren't you and Lynette actually from the House of the Heart? You're bringing up my family? You're bringing up my family in this, Farina? No, I knew you were low. I didn't know you were this low. Damn, the music kicking in. The house of the heart? <laughs> oh, oh! Did I know that was a Futui thing? Is that? I didn't know that was a Futui thing. I might be stupid, but that's a Futui family. Oh, damn, she got the receipts. No wonder they did something like this. She got the receipts on their family. So the serial disappearances were the Fatui's doing. And now it all makes sense. <laughs> we're just trying to make a better life for ourselves, man. I've got a feeling that what happened on stage probably wasn't just an accident. Come on, rational audience member. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, it's GG. That's irrelevant. Our identities have nothing to do with what happened. It must be known, but I didn't remember. Indeed. Then perhaps you could tell us everything that happened during that one minute. Did I not explain how the trick works? Your first priority is to prove yourself innocent after all. I'm sure there is little that needs to be kept secret now. Unless your script already has holes in it. She really dug deep though. <sighs> the Outlander is speechless. Well, yeah. My, oh my, don't they look flabbergasted? <laughs> Fighting in Discord, I suppose. This was almost too easy. It's not that the, they look they're not they're not fabricated. They just didn't ever get voice lines. They didn't write those in for you though. It's just how the game works. Good thing I made all that. I love that soccer of vibes. I pulled last night is really paying off. She did her homework. <laughs> soccer for real. It was kind of irrelevant, right? I mean, that is kind of important. Order, order. Mr. Linney, allow me to reestablish the facts. Lady Farina has raised two points. First, when the thud was heard in the opera house, you were neither in the box nor the tunnel. 
Second, you and Ms. Lynette are both members of the House of the Hearth. Objection! Relevance! Are these claims true? Objection! Fuck, you're right! There's no doubt about it, a magician's ability to con others. Given how Lenny has concealed his identity, this could all have been a setup f beforehand. Man, if he really did lie, and he, this is the truth. Plus, Child is here in Fontaine along with the other house operatives. There must be some scheme at work. I've been a victim of such schemes before, and now. And now, these Please two. Please answer my question, Mr. Lenny. I'm sorry. Oh, dear God. Yes. Oh, dear true. God. I knew it. No, you didn't. You literally didn't. Well, that's it. We might as well move on to the sentencing already. It's Jover. What should we do now? Permission to speak, Your Honor, even though I don't speak in this video game. Granted. For once, my client has withheld some key information. My defense cannot proceed. What does either one of those mean? In that case, what is your request? I request a brief adjournment. There are things that must be discussed. Is that really necessary? They're already as good as hey, guilty. Hey, 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 patient audience member, shut the fuck, shut the up. The defendant deceived their own attorneys. What is there left to discuss? <laughs> How much of a bitch you are? I don't order, know, like... Order, I say. Your request is reasonable, and we shall adjourn. This trial will reconvene in one hour. One hour's time! So you would stick to Mr. Lenny's defense even after knowing what you do now? You certainly have more professionalism than I thought. She's freaking out on the inside, I can tell. In that case, my dear audience, let's allow the joy of victory to steep for a little while longer. <laughs> Her laugh is so maniacal. Also, the tips of Archon's hair is always so cool. This blue is so nice. Uh-oh, cutscene. While court is adjourned, you meet with Linny and Lynette backstage in the opera house. Listen, guys, did you fucking do it? <laughs> well, this is awkward. <laughs> I didn't think the Hydro Archon would dig all that up. I didn't think she'd figure out I'm from a terrorist organization. That's crazy. I'm sorry. Traveler and Paimon. Yeah, guys, what the hell? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry it's not gonna cut it here, bud. Paimon doesn't know where to start. We trusted you two. We're not mad. Just really disappointed. And a little mad. We based our entire reasoning on the assumption that you weren't bad guys. We're like scolding them. Look how sad they look. Not to set the wrong tone or anything, but Paimon's really mad. <laughs> Dear God. I'm very sorry. I know you're angry, and reasonably so, but please, let me explain. I'm gonna say it though, they're still not guilty. I know they're not guilty. I know you've clashed with the Vatui several times before. I wouldn't be surprised if just hearing the word is enough to make you upset. Yeah, literally, I don't know where my brother's at because of them, I think. But our organization is very, very large, and the Harbingers have very different personalities and goals. Right now, we want to save people, as many as we can. So sincere. That's right. I'm sure we're on the same page. Child's here, yeah, we're chill with him. Disaster that its people might face. I knew if it weren't for our respective identities, we could become good friends. Aww. That's why I didn't wish to flat out lie to you, but chose to hide some details instead. The truth is very. We never important. asked, I guess. Being completely transparent about everything would see us spending more effort than we need to. But how can we know this isn't all just another lie of yours? Right. So, you be the judge. Heck, if I were you, I fear that I'd even struggle to trust me at this point. <laughs> you met a Fatus who works as a magician, a trickster by trade. All by coincidence, too. There's another one outside that's a banker. Yo, good night, Blackjack. Thank you so much, Sayumi and Jelly and everybody for stopping by. I really appreciate the raids and love, guys. But still, I'm asking you to trust me. I am no criminal. At least, not in this case. You doing other crimes? Did you just say that out loud? Sorry. Please forgive us. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> not in this case? Okay, that's cool. Well, you both say that, but... 
I'm bad, but not right now. <laughs> Where did you go during the damn trick, man? Right. Let's hear your answer first, and no lies now. Tell it to me straight, brother. Of course. I'll answer any question you ask. We've been trying to find out how the Oratrice operates. We want to know why it has consciousness. Why can it deliver sentences accurately? During our investigations, we learned that the machine's core is beneath it. From that moment on, Lynette and I have been designing this box swap trick with the objective of getting close to the core. Really? Is that why you needed a whole minute? That was a whole sh sham just to like get close to the core. That's right. In oh, truth, I the see. audience would take about 75 seconds to count down from 60, while I would only need 15 to get to the opposite box. It's not looking too good. So, after jumping into the tunnel, I accessed the Opera House basement via the vent and went to investigate the room in which the core is stored. Oh, that's not info you can say, though, to the court. You guys are actually done. Well, nothing. As soon as I reached that room and was about to investigate, I heard someone's voice. Which should have been impossible, of course. I was quite certain that I was the only one in the room. Third party. That voice seemed to recognize me and tried to speak to me. I chose to err on the side of caution and retreated the way I came. She immediately went back. On the way back, I saw the broken vase and the clothes on the ground. But the countdown was almost finished, so there wasn't time to give it any thought. He had to go right back. After that... The homicide occurred oh, just as murder. Well, well, that explains why you didn't hear the thud. But why do you want to understand how the Oratrice works? Because of that prophecy I told you about, of course. Uh, we true. must know all we can about this nation's secrets in order to deal with that prophesized crisis. That's the only way we can save everyone. The Archon's not the one dealing with it. We gotta be the one to deal with it. So, there you have it. The whole truth. I swear, I didn't hide anything from you this time. It's got like four times more complicated. It was never my wish to proceed under this cloud of mistrust either. But like I said earlier, you can be the judge. If you want to leave because you don't trust the Fatui, there's nothing I can do to stop you. No, don't worry. I'm literally like best friends with one of them. I can trust you. You just are a whole pile of shit right now. We can't backtrack out of this and say the whole oratrice thing in front of... For, for, for enough, because I feel like that's going to sound worse. Well, Traveler, you decide. Paimon will follow your lead however you choose. I also don't like the whole concept of Fatui wanting to know how the Oratrice works. Wait, that's true. I don't like that. I don't even like that. Even though it removes criminal activity from them right now, that doesn't make me feel very good. But I believe in the facts. I don't like that. I would defend you from these charges. I believe that judgment should be dispensed as it should. Is this a world where I can choose whatever I want to say here? Or is it the illusion of choice again? I feel like I want to still defend them. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for giving us a chance. I love you. Sorry, is that too soon? The current problem is that the scales are tipped pretty badly against you. Multiple two. choice would be cool. If we want to refute the Hydro Archon's accusations, we're going to need a seriously watertight defense. Actually, we already have the key evidence that we need. Huh? I got an idea. How about we just go to child and be like, look, man, you like conflict for no reason at all. Can you like pretend to have done a murder? He'll be like, oh, yeah, of course. I'm Mr. Worldwide. I'll pretend to have murdered him. And then he'll like show his cock or something. Oh, Paimon thinks she gets what you mean. Lenny's statement. Continue taking part in the trial. This room's kind of cool. Can I steal anything? Nope. Okay. Back and we go. The brief adjournment ends and the nail biting trial reconvenes. Both parties have returned to their positions. Let us continue the trial. <sighs> okay. We didn't do it. <laughs> when last we left off, Mr. Linney acknowledged the new this evidence is so cool. presented by Lady Farina as fact. Therefore, Lady Farina may continue stating her reconstruction of the events. Ugh, this is so Ace Attorney, up. yeah. Now then, if everyone would lend me their attention... She got more. At this stage, let's revisit that scene from Linny's perspective. Dude, these Ace Attorney moments are wild. I've never even played the game, but I already know. Based on the opposition's account of events, you can identify loopholes in their statement. I gotta actually figure it out? 
Use evidence and clues obtained during the investigation to refute any erroneous assertions. Ah, uh, I gotta build it. Oh dear God! All right, one v one. As the countdown began, oh. he entered the tunnel. True. I think. When the flatbed trolley passed, he opened the box and got into an altercation with Halsey, which caused the loud thud. That's not true. That's incorrect objection. Also, that's a really cool like image they drew there. He did not realize that this sound could be heard by everyone in the opera house, which is why opera. he claimed earlier that he could not hear the sound. Damn, she's such a good voice actress. Finally, he used the vase to knock her out <sighs> before making her change clothes to prevent others from recognizing her. <laughs> I gotta move my cam so YouTube can see this. Oh my God, hold on. Look at this, bro. Knocked her out. I'm gonna put it here for right now. At this time, Cowell arrived in the tunnel, having heard that strange noise, and caught Linny red-handed. So Linny proceeded to knock him out too before stuffing him into that box. Damn. Afterward, Linny passed the unconscious Halsey to his accomplice through the magic box in the audience stands before operating the devices such that Cowell's death would be ruled an accident. She thought this all out. And there Look at those it. pictures together. Wow. That's the truth behind what happened. <laughs> Lenny's got scrawny arms, though. Could he really land those punches? Like... <laughs> Does the defendant's side have any objections to Lady Farina's description of the events? Oh, dear God, yes. The key to refuting Lady Farina is the order of events. What Linny experienced and what he saw. Lumine finally speaks. Okay. Linny entered the tunnel. Correct. There are no loopholes here. Okay. Linny attacked Halsey. Number one. That's just not true. We are going to refute it with. Wait. Not the young lady's clothes. Oh, uh, shit. A strange... Uh, oh, God. The, vo the voice? Okay. Can't say that shit. That makes him look bad because he's going near the oratrice. That looks terrible. Lenny's statement conflicts with this directly, of course. And also, exits don't really have a lot of play here. I think the only one that we can refute is Lenny's words, but does that mean literally anything? I, we have to be honest, right? According to Linny, that worked. He via the vent after entering the tunnel. He couldn't have had that altercation with Halsey. And now, okay, well, he entered the tunnel. The voice, strange sound during the magic show, ladies' clothes. That's not ready yet. Let's see. Linny claims to have headed. Already read that. Um. Okay, so kidnap, that didn't work either, just because... Oh god, I don't know why that... How about here? Oh, that when works! Went to the room that contains the Oratrice's core. This is the actual truth. So she said that out loud, or maybe just in her head. On stage accident couldn't have happened, purely because... Or a Lenny knocked out Cowl. That couldn't have happened because strange sound sound. No one left the Opera House dramatic show. I don't know how any of these work. Not Cowl out. Does this actually? Is it just I can pick any? Underground altercation. He only witnessed traces of the aftermath. Am I doing well? Ahem. Attention! Ace Detective Paimon has something to say! <laughs> oh no, we're doomed! When the countdown started, Linny did indeed go into the tunnel. Yes. But he immediately used a vent to access the Opera House basement, which is where the underground core of the Oratrix is stored. The whole crowd about to gasp. Once he reached that area, he heard a voice in what should have been an empty room. Since he felt something was amiss, he returned immediately. An empty room. The crime scene had already developed by the time he reached.
reach the tunnel again. And in order to complete the magic trick, he did not remain there for any length of time. I think Paimon has grown so much as a voice. It's so good. Now, I actually think Paimon's doing a good job. Finally, he reached the surface. And that was when the accident happened. Really? From point of view. Therefore, he's innocent. It's just our war against theirs. True. We, t we tipped the scales? I mean, that was pretty easy. Easy. Wicked, Paimon, you did good, little buddy. In other words, you believe that he knew nothing of the incident? Yeah. That's right. More, moreover, I believe my opposition's reasoning is flawed. <laughs> my reasoning? The onset equipment was clearly tampered with in premeditated fashion. However, you say that Cowell bumped into Linny by chance. If that's the case, then if Cowell hadn't entered the tunnel, who was the entire setup meant to kill? Who is the first person in this building before it even started? Assuming that what you say is true, Linny only needed to kidnap the young girl to cause a new disappearance case. What would the point of killing someone on stage be? Paimon cooking. They have a point. <laughs> oh, we almost sent them to their desk because we're so quick to judge. <laughs> That's right, you tell them! And that's why they're partners of mine. They've managed to turn things around. Is those macarons working? Oh, well, your denial is very strident. What does that word I'll mean? Give you that. But what proof do you have to back your claims? Do you happen to remember how you refuted Lenny's alibi initially? <laughs> of course I do. Oh, yes, yes. If he had been in the magic box the whole time, how could he have not heard that sound? Why do you ask? It's just funny because... <laughs> You're saying that he wasn't? Your claim has now become my weapon. Your claim has also become a critical clue, bitch. Choose the mo- I didn't even get to read that. Why did that go away so quick? <sighs> Which is the evidence that Lenny wasn't in the tunnel when the crime took place? Strange sound, entrance exits, information about missing lady's identity. Oh my God, there's so much stuff here. Why is there so much? Irrelevant. Can I just pick any of these? I still didn't find that one. Was there more evidence I missed? Oh, there's evidence I could have missed. Tunnel vent, irrelevant, irrelevant, irrelevant. Um select. Are you sure we don't need to give this more thought? I might think there's something off here. True, I was about to say the same thing. That's right. That's right. He wasn't in the box or in the tunnel. That's why he didn't hear anything strange during the performance. This means that when the crime the happened, music. Lenny had already entered the basement. No. Da, 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 da. You tell it, Paimon. The same clue you used to disprove his alibi has now become the best proof. <laughs> How do you like that? Cook. <laughs> well played. Keep cooking. To think you'd use such logic. Her personality on the inside. Well then, if it wasn't Linny who committed the crimes, then who was it? It was you. The murderer was select the gear icon. Okay, we're making a lot of puzzles happen all at one time. I'm not gonna read any of this. The guards' investigation report indicates the fireworks released near the end of the show ignited and burned through the ropes of spinning the water tank above the stage. This caused the water tank to be full and kill cow in the blow. Okay, that's a lot of reading. Oh my god. Right? I already know all this. I'm not reading it again. I'm gonna be honest. Advice? Read it out first. Fuck! Oh! Should I have read that? I will say, I was an A-plus student in high school because of my guessing abilities. The deceased's name is Cowell, Linny's assistant. He would have been able to tamper with the equipment. Why would he kill himself? 
Halsey is the missing person and an ordinary audience member. Or did she have her own scheme all along? Could there have been a third person involved? Patui. Is that really a possibility? The new hot lady. It's a third party. Fuck. Halsey is, the Halsey is guilty. You know what? I think he it was Cowl. First try, got it. Hypothesis correct. <laughs> huh? uh, that can't be right. Are you serious? What? Um, the killer was in fact Cowl. Paimon. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's not say it so confident. Let's like. Because he's dead and we he, he can't defend himself. <laughs> what I must do next is recreate the truth. What Cowell did and how he went from would-be perpetrator to victim. That just doesn't make sense. I'm going to be honest with you. How can we envisage Lenny and have... Uh, on, uh, <laughs> the deceased's name is Cowell. So like Clue. Lenny was not in the tunnel at that time. So like Clue. The sound we heard may have come from a clash. Select clue. Halsey's clothing was in the tunnel. No one entered or left the opera house. It would have been tough for both people to fit into that vent. They uh, no select clue. I thought I could get it first try just by guessing. Okay. How could we envisage Linny as having been unable to interfere with the crime? Well, Linny himself, Linny was in the tunnel at that he moment. wasn't in the tunnel. Amen. Uh, how can I prove that there was an altercation in the tunnel? Well, the we heard may have come from a that's true. It that's a thing. For both people to fit into that vent. They would likely have bumped. Okay, the sound this has got to be it. Who's the prime suspect currently? That's easy. That's Lenny. Lenny. Is not in the tunnel at Wait, what the fuck? The sound we heard may have come from a clash between the mis... What? No one entered or left the opera house through its entrances. So, where would the criminal have wanted to take Halsey? Uh, it would have been tough for both people to fit into that vent. Select. Where did the missing Halsey go? Halsey's clothing was in the tunnel. The sound we heard may have come from a clash. It would have been tough for both people. The deceased's name is Cowell, Linny's assistant. He, uh, final answer. I'm gonna jump. I. Okay. Switch evidence. I'm gonna prove that the altercation was in the tunnel. How can I click out of this? What is this right now? Can I move this down? The blue one is right. Okay, capiche. How can we invis? What does envisage mean? Lenny is having been able to interfere with the crime. No one entered or left the opera house through its entrances. So, where Lenny was not in the tunnel at that moment. It, final answer. Shit. Lenny was not. It's supposed to be blue when it's right. Yeah. Clothing was in the tunnel. How? Where did they go? It would have been tough for both people to fit into that vent. Oh, watch this shit. Watch this. The Boom. Name is Deceased. Send it. Okay, that's close. No. Oh, three is good enough. The criminal must have understood the methods behind Lenny's magic trick and it must have been in the position to easily modify the equipment. Leaving aside how he died, Cowell had all the means to commit the crime at his disposal. The strange noise could have likely been the sound of Cowell and Halsey struggling. Lenny was not in the tunnel for one minute. This would have given time for Cowell to bring Halsey out of the magic box in the audience stands. But according to the guard's testimony, no one entered or left the opera house. So even if he had taken her, there'd be no means of exiting. 
exiting from the box would have been in full view of the audience, pretty much guaranteeing they would have been discovered. What's wrong, Traveler? Are you still having trouble figuring yeah, out? Yeah, I'm stupid. Where would Halsey have gone? <laughs> I see how it is. So this was all just a bluff. And here I thought you had something to show for it. I couldn't get it. But it seems you're still far from the truth. Yeah, well, you're short. Look, since we're at a dead end, why not consider a different track? <laughs> run. Just like the trick as it transpired, the end result must have been utterly different from the magician's initial design. If only we knew how Halsey disappeared. Well, that would be nice, but the tunnel only has three exits, and none of them seem very likely. But it's not like this is a magic trick. <laughs> Her face. Make a real life person I'm like invested. You know, like you did from that water tank, Lynette. Hold on a minute. How did you do that? Explain that. The wa- The water. <laughs> Excuse my interruption, dear opponents. But do you not see that the crowd is growing impatient? Five, five, three. There is no greater sin in this opera house than an awkward delay in the performance. Uh-oh. Crowd work. If the defense is unable to make further effective arguments, we will move on to the next stage of the trial. Which is... Hold on a second, Judge. Judge Judy with the fat booty. Hold on. Water. Lenny was not in the tunnel at that moment, which gave our criminal ample time. The sound we heard may have come from a clash between the missing Halsey and Got the it. tunnel. The deceased's name is Cowell. Got it. He's assistant. Where did the missing Halsey go? This was not broken by chance. It was used to cover important evidence. The water. That's yeah, gotta be the dress. <laughs> We got it. We got it. Is that GG? Oh, I don't get it. It all comes together if Halsey disappeared instead of being kidnapped. Lynette escaped from the water tank, vanishing gradually and leaving only clothes behind. If there's a similar method where a person could be Why did we not think of that? Water, oh, I just omitted the first trick altogether. <laughs> That's incredible. You sound at the moment. You know how preposterous it is for Lynette to turn into water act number one? Hold your horses. How could a person ever be transformed into water? Kokomi literally this does this. Is reality we're talking about here. Not some or Mona, trick. I mean. Like how the tons of characters do it. I request that we examine Cal's personal effects. We might find something there. His body? <sighs> Anyone, your friend Linny already knows this truth very well. Magic tricks are ultimately just illusions and misdirection. But Halsey's disappearance is very real. We're talking about two completely different things. Dang, keeping the jury's like attention is so tough. Even so, I trust the traveler's judgment. But the truth must be out there somewhere. Perhaps some new line of reasoning may open if we try to gather all the focal points that don't make sense. Since Cal was the deceased, we haven't placed much attention on him. Amen. But given that we aren't making much progress with the case, it wouldn't hurt to have a look at his belongings, would it? <sighs> People really do come up with all sorts of harebrained schemes when at the end of their rope. The it's about to win it all. It, your suggestion that we broaden the scope of our investigation is nothing but a tactic for stalling the trial. Now this is about a cook. Nevertheless, I believe that this is a reasonable request on the part of an attorney. Since the trial does indeed appear to be at an impasse, I believe that additional evidence may help us make more progress. But he's actually very just. Guards, please step into the a lot of sense of justice. Of the deceased, I just I don't think he had anything to do with it anymore. I think Fosaloris is just talking too confidently. We are still this is a good theory. The items, but we have already made critical progress that we feel must be shared with everyone post haste. Oh God. We discovered several test tubes of fluid within Cowell's baggage, each labeled separately. Hold up. What? 
The notebook in his backpack claims that these fluids are... water from the Primordial Sea. What does that mean? The Primordial Sea. I've heard that word before. The note's contents also indicate that Cowell belonged to an organization that sells illegal drugs. <laughs> what? He had an accomplice. Belong to an organization that sells illegal drugs. And then he had an accomplice. The notebook has many entries concerning safe usage of these fluids, in which the keyword dissolve appears many Pack times. Pack it up. We got our guy. One of these tubes was labeled Opera Epicles, along with yesterday's date. It is empty. The notes also state that these dissolution properties work exclusively on people from Fontaine. It's likely that Halsey was chosen as some sort of test subject. As such, we believe that the defense's hypothesis is, in fact, supported by sufficient evidence. Holy W. You gotta be kidding. People dissolving into water? You wanna try it next, surprised audience member? Would something so ridiculous actually be true? All right, let them try next. Let's put them in it. Wait a moment. This reminds me of a certain prophecy, <laughs> but it's just a coincidence, isn't it? Fatui experimentation. It's got doctor written all over it. If people can become water, Oh Does God! That the water tank's real use was as a means to hide water stains, and if Cowell was targeting that girl, wait just a minute, could that mean you two with me? Quick! Where are we going? The Moselle, wait! What about your partner? But on time. Mm, let's go. Just trust me. Order. Order! Damn! He put his staff down. It is undeniable that further examination of the deceased shook the building has yielded some surprising results, but we cannot yet verify the veracity of these clues. Veracity. Still, let us assume that these clues are indeed authentic, albeit with the understanding that Ms. Halsey has yet to be found. True. Guards, please continue examining the items along these lines. Mr. Linney, it appears your hypothesis is supported by the evidence, mm. so please continue speaking. Of course. Thank you, Your Honor. If we uphold this hypothesis, I believe that many of this case's seemingly unrelated clues can be connected together. I'm so hooked. Right! Like the metal hook! That one didn't make sense at all! True, that was a random piece of evidence that we disregarded. Let's think about this! Cowell's methods must have something to primordial do with that sea. water from the primordial sea. Okay. Uh, who is the prime suspect currently? The deceased's name Cowell. Is Cowell. Uh, what item did the culprit use to control the timing of the dissolution? What item did the culprit use to hide the mechanism behind the crime? What item did the culprit use to dissolve palsy? The water. From the the water. Um, what item did the culprit use to control the timing? Is it not the rope? The rope that strung the water tank up was lit by the fireworks and cut. As such, the focus here is on the water and not the tank. Okay, so this timing... Hide the mechanism behind the crime. This, that though... The hook rope was not meant for another magic trick, but was instead uh, a triggering mechanism. So I would say control timing. And then I would say rope. rope Wait, what is this? Lynette was in the magic box. Oh, I didn't think about this. Time. Did she have something? No. I remember there was something else within the inner layer of that box. Hide. Maybe. Did I get it? First try, baby. Actual first try. Let's go. Claps all around, please. Oh my god. It's Ace Detective Pyman <laughs> the shine again! Literal Ace Detective. In the original plan, Cowell would tamper with the water tank rope and the number selector securing his target. It's always who you don't expect, man. When the magic box containing Halsey would lower, the metal hook would retract gradually and pierce the balloon at the top of the box. When the balloon attached to the box popped, the water from the primordial sea inside it Dow's would pour Halsey. down and dissolve Halsey. 
Afterward, Kala would enter the tunnel and break the flower vase to conceal the water inside the tunnel. <sighs> with the remaining evidence being covered up by the water tank on stage. Oh my giga brain. But he encountered something unexpected in the tunnel. Dun dun and dun. Ended up being fatally hit by the same water tank he meant to use to cover his tracks. So bro just had a skill issue? Huh. It does make sense. Does it? That actually links together okay. a lot of the more confusing pieces of evidence. Bro just sucked and oh, he failed his plan. He just sucked. Oh my god, we're back at even. Oh dear, what do I do? Bro, just let him win. You sound convincing now. Have I falsely accused an innocent person? What a humiliation. She just can't bring herself to admit maybe she's wrong. Now, it seems like the only point of contention remaining is the exact circumstances that led to Cal's death. His notes mentioned he had an accomplice who could be related to the situation. Fa to we spell it out with me. On that note, the guards have just contacted me, indicating that they uncovered new evidence. Pay him more. They do God's work out here. I shall now invite him Literally. on stage to share it with us. Invite him, Mr. Worldwide. Thank you. Your oh honor. wait, this is Vaughn. We were just inspecting <laughs> the luggage of the other people involved oh. in this case. I thought they were gonna bring out child. And we found an identical sample of the water from the primordial sea <laughs> among Lenny's personal effects. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, hold up. The room's spinning right now. Lenny. <laughs> I'm gonna pull my hair out. I'm losing it. What? Not true. Objection. That's cap, your honor. That can't be. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, how <sighs> comedic. Bro has been framed. Counterattack only to come back and wound you. Does this not clear all doubt? The plot twists are insane. My dear citizens, my loyal audience. Allow me to present my reasoning and bring this performance to a swift close. Oh dear God, here we go again. Linny did not need to take part in the dissolution of the young woman at all. Indeed, he did leave the scene via the vent. Okay. Having made modifications to the props beforehand, his accomplice Cowl then caused Halsey to vanish using the water from the primordial sea. But upon his return in cruel avarice, cruel. he desired soul credit and prepared to do away with his partner in crime. Ultimately, he knocked Cowl out, and the tool meant to cover the crime up also became a murder weapon. Oh my god. Now, as much as I regret having come to such a viciously straightforward conclusion, it does seem that the famed Fatui is quite the cold-blooded and ruthless organization. Bro straight up made an entire theory. This is going to be tough for the court. Oh, oh man. Mr. Linny. Cap. We used up all the evidence we collected. There's no way for us to make a rebuttal here. Is this the end of the road? This gotta be something else. Mr. Worldwide's gonna pop up. Or something, right? Oh, man! Oh, no. Mm, I don't, can't think of anything either. It doesn't look like there's any way around it. Lenny, did you actually do it? Uh, seems using the water as new evidence was too good a move. Oh, why did this have to happen now? We were, we were damned if we did, damned if we didn't, you know? I think we've we had to try. Enough we have ample witnesses to my flawless reasoning. I believe this is indeed the finale. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Give me one filed interjection. Final interjection. There's one dot left. Now then, my good, noble Chief Justice, should we not, in your view, move... Oh, wait. Hold up. Wait. Excuse me, everyone, but I must interject. Yes. Miss, I must ask you not to shout <laughs> and to respect the ongoing legal proceedings. That's a fair request. Oh, come on. Don't be hasty. I have a good reason for interrupting, you know. Now, 
Would anyone here like to take a little break from all this debate and see a little magic? <laughs> no! No! We're in the middle of a legal proceeding! I'll show you an amazing trick. One that can bring a young woman who has disappeared back in the flesh right before your very eyes. Oh, shit. Please, do the honors, Mr. Linny, if you would be so kind. But what in the world is she saying? Okay. No offense, Peace wasn't miss, working? Miracles like that are beyond my scope as a magician. Okay. Come on now, don't be silly. Magic is all about misdirection, isn't it? It often conceals the truth while presenting a fascinating illusion. But once everyone believes the illusion, can't magic reveal the truth to them once again? What is she working with? And wouldn't such a trick be the most marvelous finale to today's performance? Marvelous music. Come on, Lenny and Lynette. Give it another go. Don't worry. Spina di Rasula has made the necessary arrangements on your behalf. <laughs> Y'all rebuilt the box but, right as now? Magic makers and stars of the show, I think I should leave the final performance to you. That's such a good wrap up. I understand. Such a good wrap up. Click. Is that the signal? And voila. No shot. No shot, right? Insane. What do you um, say to that, Fossilor? Uh, sorry for the interruption. It's Halsey, the hit recording artist. Wait, isn't that Halsey? So the whole thing about people dissolving. She wasn't got the true truth. After all? To be clear, I'm only here because this person told me that if I testified, the merit of doing so would lessen my sentence. What? Lessen your sentence? I was hiding outside this room listening to the proceedings because I was afraid that I would be the one put on trial. I was just feeling happy that no one had noticed me. And then before I knew it, she caught me. If it weren't for them darn kids and their paimon. <laughs> That'll teach you to underestimate Son us. Son of a bitch. Where should I begin? <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm the one who killed Cowl. I admit it. But, what? She just oh. outright said it? Firstly, my name isn't Halsey. <laughs> it's Lillian. And I'm originally from Mondstadt. <laughs> this quest is insane! This is the most fucking insane. What? Bro, Genshin, you put the bar high here today, dog. I want you to know the bar has been risen. You gotta be aware. I heard that Linny's show was gonna be a real thriller, but I missed the chance to buy a ticket, so I stole one. That's a crime. All right, keep piling it on. That's how I make a living. I steal stuff here and there. That's also and crime. I've never been caught before. You can't be for real right now. But I was noticed at the harbor a few days ago, and I barely got away. Lenny was the one who caught me in the act. <gasps> it was... <laughs> it was her that we chased. Hey, no wonder you look familiar. So oh you my be. god, I forgot about that. Well, and I thought that would have been the end of it, but then the number selector chose me. That was at random. He even mentioned the Fortress of Meripede. That's a prison, isn't it? So you can imagine how shocked I was. I thought he was on to me for sure. So you killed a man? You killed a man over this. So I played along with the show while looking for an opening to flee, but then I got water poured on me for no reason, and then <laughs> someone jumped into the tunnel to nap me. The fuck? I wasn't going to take that lying down. So Girl boss. What the fuck? What the heck? There was no one around from there, though. So I had to change my clothes and hide in a box containing performance costumes. I slipped out after the first guard arrived at the scene and continued hiding inside the opera house. Oh my god. Can a person even hide in there? If they're practice hand at concealment, probably. Professional thief could probably make it work. But I swear, I didn't know that the water tank would fall down. That's really, unanswered. I Had I known that, I wouldn't have put him in the magic box. 
I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. You are now. You killed the man. How do you feel? Well, that makes everything pretty clear now, doesn't it? Yeah, now it's time to refute the Hydro Archon's previous reasoning. This time, we need to tell the entire story from Lillian's perspective. Okay, I'm about to have a freaking aneurysm here. Let's let's do it. Let's finish this thing. Send her to her death. Finish them. Lenny entered the tunnel. Nope. <laughs> Oh, shoot, bro. Oh my god, there's so much evidence. My brain hurts. Like, I genuinely have not had to think this long for so long in a while. Halls are dissolved. Uh, on stage accident. So, first things first, Lenny knocked out Cowl. That's not true. Purely because of the fact that... Haley is okay. Housley dissolve. Let's put that there. Okay. You know what? Frick. You know what? Shoot. Audible thump. Switching performance. Lenny. Let's see. Lenny. Identify loopholes. Dropped hook. I'm so stupid. Holy shit. I'm going to die. I'm just going to select everyone on the tongue, right? Okay. You know what? We don't need to refute that. Now I see why we don't. On stage accident. Hook. I am so bad at this. Okay. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Seems this won't produce a particularly effective rebuttal. <laughs> the voices! The voices! He entered, my dude. He did enter. That's true. And someone died. Lenny and Cowl. At this point, I don't know what's happening. What the heck? Nothing's right. The flower vase was that jump scared me. To cover anything up. Done. That was really easy. And you know what? Boom. Done. Boom. I knew that. that she would be recognized if she left. So she changed. Cool. I got that. Uh, okay. And the last identified loophole is. Okay. Is a book. Bam. Strange sound wasn't I cooked. It was Lily Ann's attempt to break out when she was. I absolutely cooked there. And it's time on time. Send it home, by mom. Bring them all. Out of the blue, Lily Ann panicked. Panicked. Her panic only intensified after she entered the tunnel and had water poured on her head. So she kicked the door open, producing the thud we all heard. Mm. Hearing the commotion, Cowl leapt into the tunnel, only to discover that Lillian had not dissolved. He did not know that Lillian was not from Fontaine, but was a thief. <sighs> Made her way in by stealing a ticket. She accidentally killed this man, but we still don't know how the thing dropped. Mistakenly believing that the water from the primordial sea needed time to take effect, he tried to force Lillian back into the box. It's crazy how all of this has some truth to it. Like, little bits had truth. The, two broke the, flower the primordial sea stuff. stuff. But Lillian came out on top, knocking Cowl out and putting him in the box. Girl boss. With no way of escaping, she changed her clothes and hid in the costume trunk until the performance ended. How did Taylor Swift figure this out? How does she know where to find her? Successful refutation. But she's from Mondstadt. The water doesn't work on people from Mondstadt because it only works on Fontaine people. And if she tried to leave afterward, so she has been trapped in the opera house these last two days. Damn, just sitting in a barrel. She had already become desperately hungry by the time we um, were chatting over macarons. Oh! So, she right under our noses. Talk about a sneaky thief. That explains it. At this point, all the events that happened in the tunnel have now come to light. Ah, so that's the whole story. <sighs> Canny audience member gets it. Bravo! Bravo! Cheering audience member gets it. Call that a day. Lock her up. Send now it. Then, Lady Farina. Do you wish to speak against the defensive You literally don't have anything. I, uh, yeah, I... Uh, um, 
Please answer the question, Lady Farina. Also, if I may add, the trial has not yet ended. As such, I request that the prosecution not leave the room before the proceedings have concluded. That's absurd that the god of this nation just tried to leave the room because she's wrong. She tried to dip. That's insane. What? Are you reading my mind now? Kind of. No. I have no... <sighs> I admit defeat. But really, could you at least have left me with some dignity? No, you ridded yourself of that a while ago. Wow. Look at that! Oh, it feels so like good. That's now. so rewarding. If there are no objections, then as the Chief Justice of Fontaine, I shall once again repeat <laughs> the full sequence of events. One more time if you were following along. The actual perpetrator of the serial disappearances, Cowell, selected his next victim from the audience reservation. Yes. Okay, got it. With some modifications to the selector, he could ensure that the pre-selected young woman would be chosen. And just the luck of it was bad. Committing the deed, Cowell thought of allowing the water tank to fall, which would conceal the water left behind after the young woman was yep. dissolved. He also tampered with the rope suspending the water tank, using the fireworks at the end of the performance to cause the tank to drop and hide the Genius. water. Genius. He poured the water from the primordial sea into a balloon during the preparation of the magic box and stuck and it to the it. box's lid. Finally, he passed the prepared hook on a rope through the gap in the magic box's door when bringing the young woman to said box. When the magic trick officially began, the box containing the woman was lowered into the tunnel, tightening the hook rope and bursting the balloon containing the water. If all had gone to plan, the young woman would be dissolved at this time. But not from However, Fontaine. Not from Fontaine, and thus fled the box with a loud noise. Oh my God! Realizing that there was trouble, Cowell entered the tunnel and met Lillian. She beat him in a fight. Effect, he decided to proceed. Bro, should have just won the fight. What the heck? However, his opponent was more <laughs> capable than he thought, and he was overcome, knocked unconscious, and placed into the magic box. And thus became his own final victim. Wow, he completely Lillian, killed himself. Statements. Then changed clothes and hid until the performance ended, before hiding in other parts of the opera house. He lost the fight of his life, literally. As for Linny, he was in the underground structures within the opera house, and was thus ignorant of these happenings. No idea why. From this reconstruction of events, we can conclude that Linny, the accused, Everybody clap. is in fact... Innocent. Everybody better clap reading this, watching this, seeing this, everything. My man is innocent. We are exonerated. Lenny is a free magician once again. Amazing. 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 While there is much in Lenny and Lillian's conduct that should still be investigated separately, this case at least can be handed over to the oratrice to make the final decision. Here we go. That's a star rail ticket. What the heck? That was a warp. That was a star rail warp. Did you see that? As such, Linny and Lynette are officially declared not not guilty, guilty baby. Victory for Ace Let's go. Great work, partners. We all did that together. Thank you so much. It's not celebrate yet. Hang on. Next, I think we deserve an explanation, Guard Vaughn. How did you find the water from the primordial sea in Linny's baggage? There's more? Uh, right. Your discovery caused me to make a serious mistake, you know. Or was that not a discovery, but false evidence that you dare to bring before this court? Okay. You are speaking mightily bold for someone who just lost a court case. I suspect that the accomplice mentioned in Cowell's notes was not Linny. Bro, it keeps you, going. Yes. It keeps going. I... <laughs> I'm sure you know what you must do to lessen your sentence. Confess. Speak quickly. Unless you want to earn yourself a one-way ticket to Coupon Town. What does that even mean? I... I was just following orders. Of who? We who? were supposed to place blame for the serial disappearances onto Linny, and thus cause suspicion to fall on the Fatui. The higher-ups said this was the best opportunity to do higher so. Higher-ups? Of what? And now that your plan has fallen through, and the secrets of the water have been revealed, 
you have become a liability to said higher actions. <laughs> Come on. Therefore, you would be wise to tell everything you know and seek the protection of the gods. Oh my god, this is a masterpiece. <laughs> yes, I'll tell you everything I know. Our boss discovered that the water can cause people to dissolve. It can also so be made into the potion, which when extremely diluted, can cause people to experience unforgettable exhilaration. Potion diluted drugs. We've been in this business for a while now, and have made decent mora off it. The disappearances were also the boss's idea. I mean, this is the boss we're talking about. Oh god, he's gonna be killed. He's gonna be killed. He's got a god! Oh shit! I knew he was gonna be dis dis killed or murdered or something. He literally turned into water. Snitches get stitches. That's what you get for snitching, bitch. Uh, okay, honestly, he would have been killed either way, though, for being caught. He knew too much. This is the single craziest quest. Talk. Such ruthlessness. I shouldn't have expected any less. Who is them? them? Who is them? An outrageous act. All present, please submit to inspection immediately. However, nothing is found on the scene apart from the liquid left behind after Vaughn dissolved. Brother, it just keeps going. So, we're just going back now? <laughs> we're done. A man, two men just died today. We're done. The problem seems to have been resolved for now. Yeah, I guess if he melted, there's no more issues. That's true, but... Traveler, Paimon. Please wait. Can you give me a big old fat thank you? But like, Lenny. I know you may not want to speak to me right now. Maybe you don't even want to look at me. I'm so confused. Wait. Oh dear God. We're putting blame on Lenny here for potentially that guy going out. But still, let me thank you again for defending me to the end. Even after you learned that I'm a member of the Fatui. Oh, we're still mad at him about the Fatui thing. But we, we're chill a child. We can chill with you too. We're square. I guess. But regardless, I'd like the opportunity to set things straight. I didn't approach you with any ulterior motives or ill intent. I've spoken to you as myself, just plain Linny this entire time. I, he seems so sincere. And as for why I'm a Fatus, it's because the goals of the House of the Hearth align with those of an orphan like me. That's all. He's adopted. That was how Father, who you might know as the Knave, approached recruiting us back then, too. I didn't even realize it's an orphanage run by the Fatui. The Knave? The one who controls <laughs> the House of the Hearth? She's your father? Oh my god, I should have realized. That's right. And since we're here, I was wondering... Would you mind hearing a story? It's about my past. Back when our parents first died, Lynette and I were left wandering the streets. To survive, I took to surreptitiously observing an older street performer who did magic. It took me several days to figure oh. out how he pulled off his amazing tricks. I took my sister through several streets until we found a crowded corner, and we began to perform magic tricks there. He had to fight to survive. To my surprise, we proved to be pretty popular, and we could at least stop worrying about where our next meal would come from for a time. But I didn't want my sister to remain a street rat together with me forever. Before long, an aristocrat came to me and claimed that he wished to take us in after watching my performances. So you went from orphans to nobility just, just like that? Just like that. That was how we felt at first, too. They're so young, As too. It was on our side, and we could say goodbye to those painful days. But... I gradually discovered that while we were called foster children, he was really after my talent for magic tricks. Oh, to use them. He would constantly take me to all sorts of banquets to garner attention, which he would then use to expand his social circles. Mm, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna f bring chat and make y'all learn magic, and then I'm gonna be cool with people. Because they like you guys and your magic. Start learning. Start learning some tricks, chat. That doesn't seem too bad either. Better than roaming the streets at any rate. <laughs> it 
took a while for me to realize just how dark his heart really was. After one particular performance at a banquet, I discovered that Lynette was not on the same return vehicle as me. Oh. I waited a long time after we returned home, but she did not come back. I went to that noble's bedroom and asked him about her whereabouts. The answer he gave me was, she caught the eye of the most eminent person at the banquet, so I sent her over as a gift. I mean, you'll be able to perform your magic regardless of who your assistant is, yes? Oh no. So he was gonna... <sighs> but wouldn't Fontaine's laws deal with such people? As far as outsiders are concerned, this is a relationship akin to adoption or foster care. And they have their ways of escaping the eye of the law. Bro, this game is different, different now. I managed to ferret out the location of the mansion of that so-called eminent person and hurried through the night. Oh. But by the time I leaped over the walls, avoided the guards, and made my way in, all I saw was the moonlit ground covered in blood and the knave standing there in the darkness. So, she'd already taken care of that guy. Oh. Manga. That's right. She had rescued my sister wow. before she could come to any harm, and had even discovered several girls hidden in a basement, all of them orphans. Okay, that's a t that's another turn, by the way. Another turn I didn't expect. Father, I mean, the knave, might have seen something in me, and so she made me an offer. The House of the Hearth welcomes you, for your interests align with ours. Here, none will ever betray you. Indeed, betrayal shall never be permitted here. That just doesn't feel true. I was hesitant to trust her. I mean, I had just been betrayed by nobles. But she was also quick to destroy the noble who had taken us in at first, giving us back our freedom. <sighs> oh, so that's how the two of you joined the House of the Hearth. She's after the Gnosis, isn't she? She has her own plans. Yeah, but you know it. You don't want to say it out or... She's gained permission from the Sarita to first oh. use the Gnosis' power when she obtains it. She plans to use it to find a way to break the prophecy and save Fontaine. No, she doesn't. I'm sorry, buddy. No way. So, she believes in that prophecy too? Save Fontaine. That's right. Really? The whole House of the Hearth Maybe. is working to combat that crisis. Maybe. Because she saved all those girls from that guy who's doing all the weird shit. Today's case has also if she, if it means something to her, it may be. Indeed dissolve into some sort of water, Maybe. Thus further supporting the prophecy. Because this would be a good thing for her. To save someone she cares about. All of us house members here, Lady Arlecchino herself included, are from Fontaine. We won't give up on defending our homeland. He even knows like her actual name too. So we are on the we are on the side of. I'm on the side of this if this is true. To us orphans, the only connection we have left to this world, apart from our family, is our homeland. So if it goes away, you got nothing. So. Save who she wants. Like distributing magic pockets to huge schemes like stealing a gnosis. Everything is aimed at dealing with that prophecy. <sighs> wow, I'm sorry, but I can't. I don't. I've been through some shit, man. I guess I got my own trust issues. It's all right. I understand. The only thing I can do is relate all this to you. Wow. I just hope you can understand that even as a member of the house. I have never stopped making my own decisions, and that I believe what I'm doing is right. I never will doubt you again. If you should need anything at all in the future, feel free to find me. I will do my best to help you, as plain Linny. I understand, buddy. Dear God, was that not the most perfect Bye. series of events? Bye, Linny! That was absolutely insane. There's still more talking to be done. Leave the opera house. Hey there. What was with the disappearing act you pulled right as the trial ended? My brain has exploded, Navia. I need a hug. Were you looking for us, Navia? Well, this whole thing isn't exactly over, is it? 
I do feel that we're getting closer to solving the serial disappearances. There's still more to be answered, yeah. Think so too? I'm sorry, Navia. I just huh? What's wrong, my dear partner? I'm shaking up, bro. I'm shaking. I don't know what to trust. I really only trying to defend Lenny. I wasn't trying to necessarily look into the serial disappearances case. I, I have this like tendency to like get roped into entire country's problems whenever I show up and I don't want it to happen again. <laughs> to can crack a case that's been cold for decades now and given that there's new evidence from the trial there should be a trail of breadcrumbs for the hydro archon's people to follow now yeah but the hydro huh? archon ain't gonna do nothing she ain't helping huh. i see well don't do I that don't to me i'm a little shocked to hear that from you uh, i suppose you are just travelers who have only arrived in fontaine after all don't give me the puppy eyes sorry i might have been okay too don't say that navia oh, and we were having so much fun <laughs> investigating with you too she's baiting me it was like having new waters flowing into a stagnant <sighs> mire causing new hope to spring forth and the reflection in the murk to become clearer I'm gonna put the glasses back on. Put the glasses back on. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm a bit prone to nostalgia. Don't mind me. She, it's working. Wait, should we have a farewell meal? You know, to commemorate our time as partners? I want don't crack. Okay, be strong. Huh? Do we really need to get that formal? You really did treat us as partners, huh? I feel like we've done so much more for people we've known so far or less in the past. We showed up to, to Samaru and we were just in it with all Haytham from day dot, baby. We figured out the knowledge thing and the Akasha terminal shit from day dot with no questions asked. Well, I just like to have a proper ending to every important memory. We have been through so and much later, more with no her. Regrets later. Anyway, it would just be a meal, so it shouldn't take up too much of your time. Bro, gonna get us drunk and get us to sign a contract contractual agreement. You don't have to twist my arms on me. If I'm treating, you can't play my hand. Boss. Oh, wonderful. In that case, why don't we return to the court of Fontaine and head to the Hotel de Boer? I believe we'll make it just in time for dinner. We're going to a hotel, huh? Okay, then. Let's have our farewell meal. Oh, dear God, she's gonna lure us in, get us drunk. Everything. Quest completed. Can we have a goodbye meal now? That was the single best thing Genshin Impact has ever produced. Man, that lived up to the hype. I love that. I'm sure you guys did too. Thank you for watching on YouTube. Let me know your favorite parts and be sure do not miss part two, which is going to be out very, very soon. Come watch live. The first link down below brings you to the Twitch channel. Let's blow our minds a little bit more. Thank you guys for watching the video. Use my code for three months free of Surfshark and I'll see you in the next one.